Oh, 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 what's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Sorry about last week. We live. What oh, happened? we're on. What happened yeah. last week? Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, we oh, yeah, on. Right. He, he sent the link, but I was on the plane, so I couldn't. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, Put man, it in Tony's there. people's loved it up in here. Oh, yeah, they're they're like, can we come back, please? <laughs> no, please, oh, can we come back? Yeah. It's like, oh, hint, hint. <laughs> oh, they was that a couple hint. times in the hint, hint. Yeah. They was, uh, they was up in here. Yeah. You know, Tony reads, on, man? Who reads the comments with me yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Get on it. <laughs> that's gonna be you the that's gonna, gonna, man, man. <laughs> you just do it. That's gonna be the entire time. <laughs> y'all got some y'all got some when static. You you good, Tony, how you, huh? even, how you even get the time to read in the comments? I'll be seeing you in there and if I make a comment, I'll be like, oh shit, Tony yeah, gonna see it. It's like, in the uh on the, the daddy issues joint. Yeah. I go in there for a little bit and then I'll be like, yeah, hang out and then I just forget. I'm good for showing up at the comment like when something's first posted, mm -hmm. I'll be hanging out in there early. And then I'll be like, all right, everything's <laughs> smooth in here? Cool. Let, Let me just out. leave. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I'll, I'll see the alert of new comments on my thing. Oh, yeah, so sometimes that makes on. me go in there because it'll pop up on my phone. They'll be like, I, be I happen back. to believe. And I'll be like, what's this about? But it could be any of my YouTube posts. Sometimes yeah, mad about old. you, yeah. Chaz. What you oh, mean they be man, talking man, about, man? What are you talking about? They be See, like, nice Chaz can be getting on my nerves. That's the most <laughs> That's the most common comment <laughs> Wait, when on, they, on, I see. On what show? And, and when they give about? you a compliment, they be like, I don't believe I'm going to say this, but I believe, I, I agree with Chaz. I always yeah. love that. It was like, I can't I believe I agree with Chaz on this. Well, that's right. Come on, come pre, on over. I, I don't want to say it, Come on over. A lot of prerequisites in agreeing with Chaz. And then they'll hate on Chaz even in the movie review. They got nothing to do with Chaz. Are you serious? Like, Man, I'm sick of Chaz. <laughs> Man, you talking about Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah but Chaz. What you think about that? Jurassic, Jurassic Park? Park? Yeah. It was, it was confusing. Right. They ain't never, they ain't never they ain't been never, the same yeah. since the first one. Exactly. But we was little. Right. That's why we liked the first one. It was magic. It it's just because it's, it's, just cause it's new. Like it was something back. we had never seen before. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it, was, it was magic. Just like the yeah. first Fast and Furious. It was dope. Yeah. And then they just beat the shit out of it. No, Cause cause now we've been seeing Jurassic Park for 20 years now, right? We're I don't know. No, I stopped. 93. 93 is when they started. They kind of left from the script to just the fantasy of it. So it's not really a good story anymore. Yeah, and they're bringing the old cast. Mm -hmm. brought the old ones back. Yeah. The old just new made up dinosaurs. I was, like, I was confused yeah. in the joint. And I was watching. I was like, I don't know what I'm watching. Like, yeah. But I'm just looking at the dinosaurs. But I was and then the thing is, like, it's like the, the visuals, dub. Like, of course, it's going to look great. But I'm like, they, they got trash with the stories after the third one. You were like, what are we doing here? Yeah. What are we doing I, here? I do like Blue, though. Oh, yeah. The yeah, Blue, yeah. I remember, I think, what, two Jurassic Parks ago? Blue claimed around the corner. Oh, Jurassic World. <laughs> <Blue. laughs> he claimed around the corner. Ah! And then, man, Blue is dope. <laughs> they just overplayed this. Him doing oh, this. Yeah, yeah. Keep the dinosaurs at bay. Everybody was just, yeah. please, man, come on. And all they right. stopping. Yeah, they. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, now you're going to have people doing this to. Right. The dogs. <laughs> yeah, random <laughs> dogs. Lions running up on them. Hey, hey, the hand. The what, hand what's, what's the movie trailer? Did you see it was Idris fighting a lion? Oh, and, I saw and, that and commercial he, one. And he yeah. punched this lion. And I said, I'm not seeing this bullshit. <laughs> I think that was one of his commercials. I'm punching the line. Man, you got to do whatever you got to do to try yeah, to survive. Yeah. It ain't going to work, but... Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? They, they did it in the movie. They did it in the movie, though. He was like, the line was like, oh, come on. What do you mean? The line was like, oh. He took, <laughs> he, he was, did he wipe his mouth? You can sleep a line. <laughs> 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 you can sleep a line. You just got to hit it in the right spot. I'm punching the line. You hit it right there on the temple, it's out. What else you going to do? You rock his jaw a little bit, you get a little... Yeah, man. Grab his mane. You pull his mane. You have to grab him by that mane. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta do like you know when women fight, they always grab the yeah. hand, yeah. just go to work with the other hand. You gotta do that to a line. Yeah. Them paws gonna get you though. Oh man! Mm. So mm. who's the king of the jungle? Is it the lion or the elephant? I go with gorillas. Is that jungle count as? They in the jungle. I go with gorillas. Was it a desert jungle or a regular jungle? Nah, I think it's a wet jungle. jungle. Nah, yeah. That's a safari. Well, lions are in a savanna. So yeah. they out there. It's not a lot of foliage. It's not how, a lot of how trees. How do you know this? this, I'm just, you know, this, this, this even when you watch, like, even when you watch the Lion King, you can tell. It's like when the sun rises. It's not a lot of. It's not a lot of thick forests out there. They just kind of out there in the true. open. Once, a, once upon a time, they inhabited the same land. Yeah, that's what they and say. Tigers are in the foliage. But y'all, you don't think elephants really. are like the best ones, mm. the biggest, the trunks? They weigh the most. You seen the gorilla? 
Elephant, oh. elephant can't build a house. Who you put Ele- your money on in the fight? <laughs> elephant can't point. What really? You pulling the trees down? They be pulling the trees down, making nests. What HGTV gorilla did you see? Right, man, Jungle Book. You remember the Jungle Book? They pulled all the giant leaves together. Man, come on. I think a pissed off elephant though yeah, is hard yeah, to beat. Trunk, them man. hippos, bro, them be the ones. Oh yeah, they they super dangerous. Them hippos, they say they kill more yeah. uh, people than anything, bro. Yeah. Number one killers. Yeah. yeah, they they super dangerous. But they can't work with their hands. They really, be no. understanding sign language. Oh, are are oh, you yeah. talking about work or you talking about danger? <laughs> danger too. They they massive beasts, and if you smarter, it's you got a, uh, an advantage. What they gonna do against the elephant? Nothing. They going to uh, do some sign language to each other. <laughs> bam, bam. You're going to hit them with that tusk. They're going to get mauled up. No, nah, they're going to get a little shock and just be like, <laughs> they're going to have a little eel on the stick and be like, <laughs> prod me. I, I look at elephants like the, the Pacific Islanders of the animal. Like, they could they could crush us all if they want to. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. they're just nice. They're the just Pacific super Islanders. nice. Yeah, yeah, like the Hawaiians, Tongans, Tongans and Samoans. Samoans. Mm-hmm. They're nice people. Yeah. They don't until, have to be. Until you piss them off. Yeah, yeah. they don't have to be. We I got see. nothing if they yeah. came for us. But they're just like, Did y'all see those elephants that beef with in Africa? They beef with the tribe, nah. like like they literally go like the tribe killed the elephant. Yeah, and the uh, elephants was in the they was crying. You can hear yeah. they was crying. So the elephants waited and attacked the tribe at night that, when everybody that, was that, sleeping. Yeah. And they came. That was Gary. You seen that? The I, heard about <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about the elephant. So, and they've been beefing that for like since we like to the funeral. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait, what happened? That, wait, they wait. killed the lady. <laughs> mauled the lady at the well. The, the elephant mm-hmm. mauled the lady. Mauled her. She died at the uh, hospital. Yeah. The elephant comes back to her funeral and mauls her again. Yeah. I don't know what she did. Then Sabrina sent me another picture of the lady's house. The elephant got the house, too. Oh, he got the, oh my God. God damn. Bro, they got the address? The elephant. He, Mike Myers, the elephant. Yeah, and they yeah. got great memory. <laughs> yeah. They say they don't forget. Wait, Garrick, Garrick Dixon, can I hear that uh, elephant cry again? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> 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 we didn't introduce Garrett. Yeah, oh, yeah, like Garrett Dixon. Yeah. Yeah. First, first time. First time. Yeah. Yeah. DC Irving. Might as well do the Texas. whole intro. I mean, while we're here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. nah, we haven't did one of those for us now. What do you mean? Playing. What was the last time someone did the intro? <laughs> we, we do an intro yeah. every week? Almost. Every I don't week. think we did it last week. I don't know. Well, the intro? Yeah. I think we did. We're back with another episode of Daddy Issues. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Elephant cry. At the end of it. They seem like good parents, though. Elephants. Yeah. Elephants. Yeah, they yeah. Really okay. Doug, it sucks when I see like there's like a, a, a fawn or some kind of deer or mm-hmm. antelope, and the parents like, I gotta make a decision. It's me or my baby. The, but, like wildebeest would come back and fight. Yeah. But antelopes, they'd be like, oh, oh, oh. they'd yeah, be juking and shaking like you on your own. The, the worst video I've seen was this this an, uh, this deer, whatever, gave birth. The 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 baby just came out of her. Mm. And she took off running, and then you see mm. a cat just roll up right on the. So that baby oh. just came out just to get eaten. Man. And mom's dipped. That's fresh food. I right was there, like, man, baby. come but on, man. man. Usually the baby did. They have like a certain amount of time where they say they have to stand up or else they're food. They're yeah. like when you, they first drop, they got to be ready to get up and run. Man. That's crazy. That sucks. The man's being born like that. You got to come out. Stand, hurry up. Now right. they're coming. Right. We Ooh, suck. You don't even know language. Yeah, you don't even, even know see. what's going on. I, I, read, take us nine I don't know how, if this is real. <laughs> to, to even want, do, yeah. For, for us, nine months? That's but I hear one. that's because we swaddle and we don't carry. But I heard that if you make people walk, not that they can do it as soon as they come out. But No, baby gorillas, they come out. Oh, just we back on the gorillas. <laughs> yeah, I'm sticking with the gorillas. They come out. But I heard I heard. I heard right. kids and babies can walk like babies can walk a lot more faster if we don't swaddle them and we make them not to walk. Probably so. Probably. You know? yeah. But I heard that. So also I heard that if you have a baby and you can like leave them on your stomach and the baby will move and find its way to the nipple naturally, which I saw a video of. That, that. I've seen. Yeah, I've seen that. Mm. I was like, these guys can do a lot more. We just were y'all like, watching we for the you, nipples buddy? or for the baby? <laughs> for the nipples. Uh, both. <laughs> so do, do the male babies go quicker to the nipple? The breastfeed life. Yeah, man. I was like, we 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 swap we we take care of kids way too long, anyways. You know what I mean? Like yeah. compared to especially animals. Oh, animals, animals, animals just like, grow, like, up. Yeah. 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 grow up, grow up. You just gotta watch. Up. Watch what we do. I'm gonna feed you for a little bit, but be watching, and mm-hmm. then they just learn. Yeah, they don't have the long breastfeeding like uh, humans. I mean, they, they also have a shorter life expectancy, so most yeah. of them, yeah, they don't mm-hmm. live as long, so everything's rushed. Still, and we got to get on it. Five-year-olds pulling titties out. 
in the animal kingdom would never happen. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how long they breastfeed. It shouldn't have happened at all. <laughs> that fire? Well, shit, it'd be happening in the grocery so store. Weird. You'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah. What? Do any when the kid can stand up and do it themselves. Any male get the animals, hell out of here. Yeah. Not to my knowledge. He said any male, male, male animals breastfeed. Uh, I don't think so. I just know the seahorse gives birth. The male yeah, I think that's head. This looks awful. <laughs> oh, the way you be shooting them out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they be coming out by the hundreds. You shoot them out. Oh, they no, out of nah, them. They be asexual. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Aren't seahorses asexual? I think so. Mm. I, know I, the, know. I thought the males give gives birth. Yeah. That's crazy. Horrible life. He <laughs> 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 made it look easy. He'd be like, he's sneezing. <laughs> 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 them kids be coming out, man. Oh, like, so oh, how many come out of the... There's so many. There's like it's a gang it's, of them, bro. bro yeah, look this up on YouTube. It's like it's a, it's it's a, like a bus. It's almost like if yeah. all of your semen lived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, what that's, like. cool. that's what it looks like. <laughs> Damn. That's the visual. And they back, they back me out. They're shit. Yeah. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the people that don't know you, man, you know what I'm saying? How many kids you got? I got two daughters, uh, 14 and 12. 14 and 12. Wow. I was just telling Chaz, uh, my 14-year-old has a boyfriend now. Oh, no. oh what? yeah. Oh. You met him or you heard about him? Oh, yeah. No, I met him, Sal. Oh, Sal. 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 He got a car little, little Hispanic dude. Okay. A little Hispanic dude. A little Salvador. Yeah, <laughs> See, that's, that's a Salvador. Yeah, so yeah. I wanted to tell, we was eating the other day, and I wanted to tell her, this ain't going to work out. Oh. <laughs> you, you know, I, I wanted to tell her, like, you're not going to like him a year from now. You're going to hate him. Mm. You think but, he don't have the potential to last? Nah, not at 14. You know, she on the phone all the time talking to him yeah. and everything. And I, I just got to go with it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, hey, Sal. I don't Man, know. You shook his hand, but he had a soft handshake. Oh, and he I was came like, in with the flim? Said, yeah, yeah, the flim jar. I said, look at me, are oh, you going to make him too much of a man? He's going to propose at 18. Right. <laughs> like, you right. like, I got you. Right, right. Hey, I need to Sir, ask you a question. You told, right. Me that. Right. you told me to start a family early, Mr. Dixon. I got your daughter pregnant. You didn't <laughs> believe. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, you told him to look at you, though? Yeah, I told him to look at me. I said, yeah. I said, Because this I shook my hand. And he was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah. man, look at me, man. Have some confidence. Yeah. And I took Go my for it yeah. sometimes. <laughs> well, not, 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 <laughs> not, not, not like that, but. And then they went to the dance. I took my shades off. I said, you know, that's my daughter, and I take care of her. Then I hit him in the back real hard. Yeah. yeah. Did you, you know, stay just, outside just, the dance? No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. no I, is that what you've but, done, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> I sent Howard. Howard is a quick... Uh, you said you sent him? Well, he'll be like, you want to go up to the dance? I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll meet him a little later mm-hmm. after my son hits me. Like, you up here with Howard? I go up here nah. creeping. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm on my way. Uh, I'm not here for you, son. I'm here for the girl. I mean, <laughs> wait, up. no, I mean, uh, no, no trauma. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> always got to, you always got to, we, we do the creep by all the time. You mm. going to what party where? Okay. Then the slow creep by. <laughs> and a lot of times you want wow. them to see that you creep So you've done it with your son and daughters. Everybody gets a creep by. Uh, my daughters didn't go partying as much as my son. Mm. But yeah, the creep by is for sure. But they were also star hoopers. Uh, son. The son, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are them. It's the social life out here. Yeah, you gotta let them know I might be there. Right, every time. Right, but mm. I am there. Right, <laughs> <laughs> <In> your mind. <laughs> Planted the seed. Um, now, did she tell you about the boyfriend early on? Yeah, did she and, tell her mom first. Well, or of you? course, of course. She told you know, first. And then the mother. Oh my God, she texted me the other day. It was like I'm thinking about putting her in birth control. What? Oh. And I was like, hold on, do you know something that I don't know? Yeah. Because she has like real tough periods. Uh-huh. Like she cramps real bad, throws yeah. up, and all that stuff. So oh, she, so she's doing it for medical. She, that's yeah. what she said. She it said, regular. Well, and I just yeah. want to be safe too. And I'm like, hold on, do you know something that I don't know? Yeah. It, but I have to support it. Yeah. I was like, okay, because I just told her, I said, I hope she's not as freaky as you. I hope she's not as freaky as you. Yeah. She was like, oh my God. Because <laughs> they could have easily been swallowed. I mean, a lot of our kids were swallowed. No. You, and your ex, you, you and your ex have a good relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We get along real good. Yeah, yeah. Good. So, didn't I just tell you she was a freak? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we good. Yeah, yeah, she remarried everything. Mm. Her husband and I get along. Cool. I cut his hair sometimes. Bro, yeah. shit. You be fucking yeah, it up on purpose. Yeah. 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 He, he, he said it the first thing. He's like, man, don't be messing up my head. <laughs> I did once. Yo, I, on I, purpose? I, nah, nah. <laughs> I did once, but I took his hair a lot. <laughs> you be playing but, with your balls right. and <laughs> shaving his lips. The mustache, bro. Does the birth control help with the, the cramps? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, it eases. It's like regular shit. I don't think I knew that. Yeah. 
because you got boys. Yeah. But yeah. you know, I'll be dealing with women. Yeah. And so I, I don't remember them telling me that, uh, you know, oh, the birth control helps me yeah. with my, you know, my cramps. It's a secret. Yeah, I guess around I 14 is when I had to talk with, with the kids about sex. Uh, that's that's when you're going into junior high, eighth grade. Yeah, yeah. You're going to ninth. that's when people start no, trying to yeah, hold hands, grade. walking mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. How'd your sex talk go? What was it? Don't Give be me, fucking I'm... in my house. <laughs> hey, sound like my dad. <laughs> like, if you're gonna be responsible enough to fuck, you gotta earn the money to get you a hotel room and find your spot. Don't be fucking in these streets. That's dirty. If hmm. you meet a girl that you can fuck in these streets. That's not the one for you. <laughs> yeah. Anything you get that's, from that, that's the one I want in high school. <laughs> middle school. I don't know, man. The car sex, that's your only yeah, option. Yeah, you, yeah, you didn't have one. a lot. Yeah. The car sex. Uh, car sex. I know when I was early <laughs> in the game, it was the car. Because I couldn't do it over there. I couldn't do it over there. So it was like... The back seat. And luckily, I had a big old car. It was cars and parts, yeah. bro. You didn't yeah, have a lot of. Just, go get this blanket. Well, the same no, location. The car, Y'all didn't go to their house. The car be hating well, yeah, on the Yeah, also, it's always a danger zone at that house. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, go in there. Your, your house. <laughs> that's not the point. Of her, being sister, in a rush. her sister and, was there. His brother-in-law. It was and, always hot. Yeah. So I was like, all right. And yeah, car sex is always wrong. Tell yeah. you, you didn't strap up in the car. Sometimes, yeah. You did? No, I yeah. did. Yeah, I sure, did. I had sure. my first, well, yeah. yeah, first daughter in the car, but the pullout couldn't work because you know how the you in the passenger seat. We wasn't in the back seat. So we was in the passenger seat, and you can't, like, pull out because the little, uh, the thing in the middle. Thing, like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kids. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a tight squeeze in the car, but, but I had a 67 Chevy Bel Air. Oh, so you had a It was space in yeah. the back. You know, you had a bed in the back. It basically, you know? <laughs> it was the one, the one long seat in the front and the back. But we was in the back. So you did a lot of car smashing too. Mm-hmm. He I lived in a van. Sure, pre van. He like Pre-van. house sex. What you mean? Pre van days. Yeah, dog. You roll up. But what you... age are we talking? We're talking about I was high sixteen. As soon as you could get I was a out car. of high school. I was in high school. I was old school. enough. I to, was only in house, but it, it was it was just I didn't have my own place. Oh, they needed the okay. shit, yeah. so it was like, yo, y'all not smashing, you know. Yeah, but it's... in the times where we did smash inside a house or whatever, I felt like the master <laughs> smash me yeah. because it wasn't. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> you get used I had to play. I had the room. Tony, Tony had the room. Yeah, yeah. Tim's all. Oh, man, I, got, I can move yeah. my whole body. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to the car, man, it was yeah. like, man, the sky's the limit. Yeah. Maybe that's why, because I moved out. early. Early, mm. like my dad was getting on my nerves. I was like, I'm yeah. out, man. So cool. I just dipped and got a, a apartment with my teammates. Oh wow! So we, just we could do. Central. Oh, it was disgusting in there. Oh man, <laughs> disgusting. Wait, you got your you own didn't place, pass yeah. on the court, but you did in the yeah, house. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and it, was, it would just be like if a, if a dude was bringing a girl, it'd just be like, don't go in there, because two of us shared a room, mm-hmm. and the other one shared a spot, and then it was like, hey, what you doing in that? Oh, you got somebody coming? All right, I'll chill outside. Don't bring nothing unless you have something coming with you. Yeah. That couch yeah, had polka out. dots on it. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, I, my first couch was a white leather couch. Oh. Yeah, it was beige by the hell. Oh, <laughs> and if the windows niggas. didn't get foggy during the car sex, mm. that means you didn't smash good. Yeah. <laughs> like, the windows had to get the foggy. You should be the right Tony in yeah. when you finish. <laughs> she should with her toes on the window. <laughs> right. <laughs> or the hand like Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> You just had to worry about co- cops rolling up, bro. Yeah, that was always yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Go back. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I wasn't the, smashing the on beds. I was definitely <laughs> smashing on air mattresses. Well, yeah. oh. mm. Just want to put that. Just want to put that. Out. Mm. Air mattress. Definitely was an air mattress. Low budget smash. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Snooty <laughs> Fox smash. Air the mattresses Snooty never Fox. hold up. <laughs> <laughs> They never hold up, man. The slow league is coming. Oh, coming. Yeah, I think you know what it is. I think we just always bought cheap ones. I, because the one that my I bought when we got our place five years ago mm-hmm. for when my dad would come visit or whoever yeah. that we would put the kids on it was like it's like a big king with the it was expensive it's still but the kids, was the kids are gonna last longer on the air mattress it'd be grown ups who yeah like we deflating that yeah, yeah. no the man. kids want to jump yours back on to it like it's a trampoline no but but then they just lay on it they'll be fine because they don't weigh a whole lot you put three kids on they'd be fine but it bro. wasn't one of the like thirty dollar ones like we okay. spent. I like had the self-inflating on one where you just plug it in and yeah, put it we have that. Yeah, I have yeah, that. Yeah, that's and, one. That's that's one. Even don't, that one, man. Two it's new still, years, still rolling. It. You got to leave it on the whole time. Yeah, you got to <laughs> sleep with it on or else you're going to wake up I'll be fire. wondering what people are doing you're on there because this one has lasted about five years. That's good. That's, that's, that's yeah. an anomaly. Because then and the one I had in college, it yeah. was flat immediately. Trash. We had to blow it up every night. Yeah, I was in the center and it's all folded over. You're sweaty. Hey. It's like sleeping in a burrito. 
Damn, every time. <laughs> yeah. just like, I, bro, waking up on the floor is uh, the worst. Like, your back be yeah, weird, bro. Come on. Or you get that lopsided with half your body. Oh, yeah. and just, like, come on, man. But what about the floor off. smash? Rug burns. Never, never, oh, rug burn. Never, rug burn. Rug burn. Rug burn. never comfortable, bro. Yeah. That, that was us in high school. We used to put in high. on a hotel room. We always had a friend that was 18. Y'all was getting on too. You were smashing in front of other I people? I never did that. Back well, in high school? Not in front of, like, somebody get the bed, somebody get the floor, somebody get the other side of the other bed, somebody get the bathroom, somebody get the closet. Y'all was smashing in front See, of people. See, I ain't never yeah, been a public. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You hold the blanket up. I've never <laughs> been a public smasher. Oh, like some best, dudes man. like to smash in front of other dudes. Like not in front of other dudes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some dudes do though. Oh, they, yeah, they'll yeah. Work like, hey, watch me smash, and I'm like, oh, they be never asking. been me. Yeah, like <laughs> if another dude is a room on joint. Yeah, it, it don't. A, I've never been. Know, some dudes are just trained dudes. I've done the. I've done yeah. the dorm room where my my boy was on one bed and I was on the other. Mm-hmm. We, was, we was all smashing, but it was like we was covered up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah, hold yeah. the covers we, like we a whole blanking. new room. It was yeah. just regular couple. Oh, you hear what I'm saying? It's a lot that. of pressure during that though. It well, is to, to outlast. Because, you yeah, gotta, because you're trying to. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. I remember we did that one time, but the girl. Who he was with? Granted, we didn't know these girls. It was a, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. what would you call that shit? One night, and then the girl he was with was like, "All right, so we switching." Oh, oh, oh. and I was like, "Yeah." yeah like, <laughs> but the girl who came for me was like, "Nigga, no," oh, because oh. she wasn't about the girl who came for me. Came for me. The yeah. homie was just wingman, like, okay. But mm. the ultimate, we, she didn't care who's in that room. Yeah. Like, I'm, a, I'm with you, girl. Like, so she came. Matter of fact, when they showed up, because they went to an all girls school, they showed up. The one, the friend had a big scratch on her leg. They hopped the fence of a, <laughs> of a school to come here. Like, wow. it was a and whole, the thirst. it was wow. a mission. Jesus Christ. Three in the morning. Like, yeah. and we had to mm. sneak them in because we was on the road. So the coaches come by and do room checks. Mm. So we had to wait for the coaches to leave, and then they ran in, snuck in. The whole it was a mission. Yeah, mission she has six kids now. It's probably. <laughs> oh, man, it was probably. Yeah, she has six kids. That was a lot of work for this yeah. man. It was a lot. And the, the homie was the a whore. Like she didn't care. She was like whoever in there. was on that mission impossible over there. <laughs> yeah, it was. But they hit on us at the game. Like they was like that was my first experience with like some like what you think athletes go through. Yeah. Like they they made their way back to the locker room. Like in the, like they they oh, shot they man. shot like they were shooting it during the game they like yo 25 25 after the game after the game and I'm trying to concentrate like oh, damn <laughs> like, <laughs> you can hear them and then they made their way back there and then our coach was like you know knock it off and we was like this is where we at just hit us and mm-hmm. see I, I admire that because I never had those I was I was a bench rider <laughs> so I, dudes like you was my friends I, I hate it it was a love hate relationship because what I what I used to do is in warm-ups, I'm hitting everything. <laughs> so that was my opportunity to talk to the girls before the game. Right. And then, because the warm-up, I look like an all-star. I look like all-American in the warm-ups. But then when they saw I didn't get in the game, nah, bro. I remember this one girl, this is a true story. She gave me her number before the game. I didn't get in. She came up to me. She was a cheerleader for the other team. She came up to me afterwards and said, give me my number back. Man, that's a true story. I could not. She said, man, Chris said, give me my I still remember her name. She said, give me my number back. Yeah, respect you, you didn't make the injury. You're supposed to be on the sideline, like, <laughs> talk to the trainer. Like, hey. We, I, that happened to a teammate of mine. Because he, he would go ape shit in warm-ups. Like, he mm-hmm. was doing, but he never played, like, ever. And this girl came to him after the game, and her friend wanted to talk to him. Mm-hmm. And she's like, man, you look like the man in warm-ups, but you didn't get in. Yeah. And then they just walked up, and I was like, and he just sat there, like, man, it's the worst. It's a cold nah, bro, you gotta, I got slapped one time on the bench. Oh, <laughs> so we was playing. Uh, so we, we, yeah, we was playing another team, and the nigga walked by and smacked me in the back of the head. Who? And I another looked, team? From yeah, another team from, from another. No, one of the, the audience people, one of the, the oh, fans. Oh, he, he, was, yeah. he was a thug. You know, he was a high school thug. Yeah. And he smacked me in the back of the head, and I looked at my, <laughs> I looked at my boy Bobby. I was like, yo, he smacked me. Dang. <laughs> It did, and you couldn't do anything because we was at the other team's right. was the That's first arena. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I just looked at him. He was like, what's up, man? What's up? And I was like, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, Did like, you getting jumped by the whole, uh, the yeah. whole, yeah. What you, what you the whole stadium? Yeah, right. what you doing? Nah. It's tough. But he smacked me. I was like, why, 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 why did you choose you? me? Yeah, yeah like, I, everybody was <laughs> like, I like his head. He got a long neck, and he smacked me or something. <laughs> now I, I was probably like third. He was probably trying hardest not to make eye contact. He was like, this. Right. He was like oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. And I had all the bench rider techniques. Oh, I used to sit by the, the coach. coach. <laughs> to try to get in the game and look at the coach. You know, he looked down at the bench. 
And I'm looking at him, but he <laughs> the, was, man. The that walk down yeah, on the it, bench yeah. is the funniest shit of yeah. all time. Yeah. You see the coach like, ah, yeah. 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 you get it. Yeah. And you be like, ah, oh, shit. I'm going to tell you, last time I played basketball for like on the team, I remember, uh, I was had to be eighth grade-ish, something like that. And then uh, the coach was like, I got up. He was like, <laughs> 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 coaches be when it's intense. Like, yeah. No, no I mean, oh, oh. Our Damn. coaches, our coach had no. My coach at my JC had no. He was a. He didn't trust nobody. Mm -hmm. He ran a seven man, maybe eight yeah, on a on a like if you add a gas. And I remember a playoff game. I'm I'm winded. We played. It went overtime. I played forty three out of forty five minutes. Oh wow! I'm exhausted. I said I'm tugging the jersey. Like I got to mm -hmm. come out. They on the bench is like, coach, you got to put him in. Like the backup point guard. Mm -hmm. He was like, in a game like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Out loud. Dang. He was like, in a game, in a game like this. <laughs> and and the kid just he was just sitting there, and he just said he was like, no nah, timeout. And he called a timeout. And he didn't want to, He didn't want nothing. He, yeah. That was the break. Right. Like there was no. He was not putting him in. Man. Wow. <laughs> there was a so he just. He was like, just rest. Just sit there and rest. And he just sat there. The dude there still was a time recovery. when uh, Sage injured, injured himself and went to sit down, and the dude got up like, yeah, I'm about to get in. And the coach was like, what's wrong with you? He's like, my ankle. I can't play. He's like, you better than all these with a hurt ankle. Get in there. Damn. And it was just like, ah, oh, damn, Sage went in with a hurt. Ankle. Coaches don't be trusting I, I nobody. One, I think I had one of the worst stories ever. <laughs> We was playing. I worse went to than school. The right. no, 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 right. no, 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 this is worse. You got this, back. this is worse. Like I got bench rider tails. So <laughs> I went to Largo. We was playing high point. So we in warm up. You know, before the game, we in warm up. And my man Mario. This is all Maryland, right? Yeah, in, mm -hmm. in Maryland. So you know, you warm up, and then we go back to the locker room. Mm -hmm. Mario forgot his jersey. Mm -hmm. Took his one. He didn't have his jersey. Mm -hmm. And the coach was looking around, and he looked at me. <laughs> and Mario Tony, was the star? And, and, and Mario, he was one of the stars. And he looked at me, and Tony, we made eye contact, and I tried to look away. You know, normally you try to look at him to get in the game, but I looked away, and he walked over to me. He said, Dixon, <laughs> do this for your team. We need you. We need you right now. No. We, we need you. Hey, give Mario your jersey. <laughs> this is and, the most your jersey's ever going to score. And, and Mario was my man. Mario was one yeah. of my best friends. We, we see you was a starter. So Mario and I, we'd be on phone at night. Yeah. And he was like, "Yo, G, play how you do in the gym. Like when we go to the rec center, play like that in practice. Because right. you be balling in the rec, but you get nervous." And Mario was my man, and I had to take my jersey off. <laughs> Slow, it, 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 uh. it hurt. And I handed Mario the jersey, and Mario didn't want to look at me. <laughs> I gave him the jersey, and he took it. The only good thing is, Mario, I was number twenty-two. Mario went out and scored like twenty-five points. Mm -hmm. so, so in you the got paper, the credit. Yeah. in the paper, it said Dixon twenty-five points. Yeah. I still you, got that. I was like, yeah. Yeah. in my senior book, you got the right. I still got yeah. the. Yeah. Went back to that girl, like uh, I dropped twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been but, this game. Yeah, oh man, it, it, it was that you look because I knew Damn. he was going to ask me to give. It it in Mario's defense, team. he didn't want to take it. No, no, he didn't want to take it because that was my boy. Wait, he did he wash the jersey before he gave it back to you after the game? Was like, oh, thanks, Dixon. Here you go. The <laughs> fact that the coach chose you, uh, yeah, we he need was like, you. <laughs> and that's the point when I, I like I thought I was going pro. Of course, even oh. though I didn't no. get in the game, I still thought I, I got a shot at this because I prayed every night. God, <laughs> let me, let me, let me, I, like I prayed every night, please, please let me go pro. But when he took my jersey, I was on the bench. I said, "It's not going to happen. I might as well stick to cutting hair." Like I, this is this you, is I, well, I'm I'm surprised he didn't ask who wants to volunteer. No, no, no. I wish. Because that's, cause that's a, he, he, going straight to you is like a, hey, yeah. man. And, you know, first time and, and he looked, he looked around. Like, yeah, he, no, he looked around and then he looked around. at me. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? What do you, and I, as I look at you, I see his face. Like, yeah. it's, that's <laughs> one, it, it, it's one of the worst memories of my life, bro. What do you think what was that was separate from practice in the rec center? Why do you feel like you couldn't ball the same? We Like, some people are practice all-stars. You get nervous. Mm -hmm. But also... My coach didn't believe in me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so when you're playing to not mess up, mm -hmm, you know, yeah. I feel that. And, mm -hmm. and then so I was always mm -hmm. watching my back, yeah, 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 and I just wasn't loose. Yeah, it's like a comic on stage if you ain't. But it wasn't you fun. Tell, like the fun goes away, and it's like I can't be loose. Just nervous. Yeah, 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 I'm nervous. On yeah. basketball, is confidence is yeah. 80, 80 right. percent Especially of right. your game yeah. when you get out yeah. there because there's players that never sure. miss in practice. Mm -hmm. They just right. three point all day, and then right. the game they catch it. And look, and then pass it. And you're right. like, man. But it's, but it's on the coach because 
they're not mm-hmm. giving them that. They, I mean, their leash is so is yeah. so short. Like, so it's yeah. just, you, what do I, I? I can't do anything wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're constantly looking at the bench, and right. it's like, and even as the starter or whatever, you be like pulling for your boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like you're like, coach, put him in, you know. And they just will not do it. They Damn. just won't do it. We this guy. One of my one of my home. <laughs> one of my homeboys, bro. Like we used to, I was like, coach, he's good. Like, and I'm tired. Yeah. Like put him in with like for spurts, and like he runs well with the first team, blah blah. Mm-hmm. And he just get back in there. He, get he back would in there, not Poland. do it. Oh, bro. oh you coach Poli? But they, <laughs> they be like, we ain't got time for this shit right Man. now. Like, and it's just like the jersey situation. Been there, didn't want to take it. Forgot mine. Oh, so you took somebody's jersey? I didn't take oh, it. Oh, I forgot mine. And my coach didn't like me. He, mm-hmm. my, this is senior year of high school. Mm-hmm. He hated me, but had to play me because I was the best player on the team. Mm-hmm. But he didn't. He did not like me. He made it known. And. <laughs> Uh, which is weird to have a beef. Holy <laughs> goddamn, I hate you. Get it. <laughs> like, it, was, it was weird to have a beef with a 16 year old. We he was won, mad, but I hate Well, you. he was mad. We had a tournament uh, during Holy Christmas. Holy sack of shit, just go. <laughs> <laughs> right. We had a tournament during Christmas, and every year me and my family would go for the holidays, whatever. And then we told him that before the season started, mm-hmm. we go here. He was like, okay. We went to the tournament. They lost the tournament. He felt like if I was there, we would have won the tournament. Held that against me the rest of the year. Oh. I'm like, I'm 16, bro. Like you, you, might have, be, you have a legit out on a bonus. But <laughs> well, that's also <laughs> why AAU players get to do all their shit because their coach isn't worried about losing their job. Right. When you go to high school, the coach is like, shit, my job's on the line. Mm-hmm. I got to put you on the team so the parents don't complain. Mm-hmm. But you he did not like me, bro. So I forgot my jersey. And he was like, well, you forgot it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to force anybody else. Like he wanted me to learn that lesson, yeah. but we had a dude on our team named Charlie, who was like the team guy. Yeah. He's like, you can have mine, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we we got to win, and you know, he was like, that's bigger, you Charlie, because I would I man. wouldn't get like he just made it a point yeah. to be like, and I didn't want to take because I I like Charlie. He was right. super cool. Like matter of fact, we used to wear uh, everybody had a nickname on these uh, on on the jer- on the warm ups mm-hmm. like our travel stuff, mm-hmm. and his name was Chuck D's. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody used to be like, what, why do you say that? You like, because you could chuck these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> like, little white dude. He was funny. I was fuck, just about bro. to ask, was he white? He's a little okay. white dude, bro. He, Charlie was cool. I don't know no black Charlies. Ch- not Charlie. Not, not Charlie, 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 but no Charlie, 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 Charlie though. Yeah. No. Not a lot of black people go by Charlie. It's got to be somebody. Some jazz musicians. I was about to say, Charlie by Parker. Charlie. Charlie Parker? Okay. Megan. Charlie. Long time Lever. ago, I think, yeah, right? Charlie. Charlie. Wait, basketball. There's Charlie Murphy. Yes, yeah, Chuck. Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy. Chuck Barker. Charlie Wilson. Yeah. Charlie Wilson. There we go. Yeah, right. Charlie, Charlie Murphy? I took a minute. Charlie we got Murphy. it. Yeah, Charlie right, Murphy. My theme is, my theme is gone. <laughs> 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 no, but it seems I was the team guy, too. The bench riders, we were the team guy. Because it's like that's all we had. Because mm-hmm. we knew we weren't getting in the game. Mm-hmm. So you had to be liked by everybody. And you would hype everybody up. I've been like, put me in, coach. You ever tried a different sport? You didn't like <laughs> football, baseball? <laughs> <laughs> <Not> <laughs> baseball. He, he didn't even put <laughs> senior day. Come on, man. Senior night. <laughs> no, day. he's talking about senior night? <laughs> senior, senior night. You're supposed senior to start night. the seniors on senior night. Senior night. You're supposed to get in the game. You get roses yeah. before the game. Yeah. Your parents come. Senior night, I thought I was going to get in. You're supposed to. You're supposed I, to start the game. I, I didn't get in at all. That's bro. fucked. Dang. Wait, yeah. so there was five seniors beside you, and you were the sixth senior? <laughs> but you're still you're, supposed to get in, I was supposed to, yeah. I was, Everybody cheers. I was cheers. like, I'm guaranteed to play tonight. Right. <laughs> like, it's guaranteed. But you usually but senior still, nights against your rival. Usually. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but like, still, you, you let, them, you let yeah. them do the first, you know, so everybody can cheer, and then you yeah. call the timeout or whatever, so they all come out. Everybody cheers yeah. for them, blah, blah, blah. That's fucked up. That's that's and and, and the, they used to cheer because I used to cut everybody hair. Yeah. So I cut every basketball player, football player. So we used to be at the games and they would cheer. Put G in the game. They even yeah. had signs like the football dude. Put G in the game. Yeah. And the coach, and I was like, but he, you like he, 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 he go, he's going yeah, to yeah. put me in the game. It's too much pressure. Yeah. When the crowd is, put G in the game. He still doesn't. Doesn't that make you Damn. feel worse? <laughs> when you like, coach, yeah, yeah. listen. Yeah. Right. What if you yell at the crowd in a game like this? <laughs> 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 and they're like, oh. <laughs> to the whole stadium. And like, oh, that is a game like this. And I ended up cutting his hair years later. The coach? The coach? He used to come to my barbershop. Did you mess up? It, 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 fucked I, up I never line. did, but he would wait for me all the time. And I always felt like he was trying to torture me. Because I always wanted to mention it while I was cutting it. Like, Lou, why you ain't put me in the game? You never but, mentioned it? I would have mentioned. Nah, oh, I, would have I, mentioned I never mentioned McGee. I would have mentioned it. it, was, it I would have mentioned it in your several hand languages. Said that your right hands would have been shaking. His head and make him nervous. <laughs> yeah, right. How come you never put me in the game, coach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the, got the machete. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The close shave. The color purple uh, razor. <laughs> All right. 
I, yeah. He would have acted like, I don't know what you're talking about. I would have told him in several languages. Right. Yeah, like, right. Why you didn't put me in the game? And I would have did that with Babbel. You know what I'm saying? I would have did that with Babbel. Uh, Babbel, mm-hmm. for those you don't know, is a language learning app that has sold more than 10 million subscriptions. 10 million. Uh, yeah, 10 million. That is impressive. That's it teaches, a lot. teaches you bite-sized language lessons that you'll eventually use in the real world. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language apps or AI uh, lesson plans, but Babbel lessons are recreated by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven and effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and your accent. Ah. That's my favorite part about the app, hmm. is when I go in there, like the repeating of the words. I do all the verbal stuff. But I'm like reading. Uh, when you get thrown in the fire, you got to talk. Oh, you got to talk. <laughs> you got to yeah, talk. You got so to do the accents. You, wanna, you don't want to sound weird. So you try to do it the best you can. And y'all can start your language learning uh, journey today with Babbel. Um, plus, it comes with a 20-day uh, money-back guarantee. So if you don't like it in 20 days, send it back. Come on, man. You know what I mean? So right days? now, you can save up to 60% off your subscription. Wow. 60%, 60% off. Damn. When you go to babbel.com slash issues, that's babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L, dot com slash issues, for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, the language for life. Man, they pay more than half. All right. Be a be a goddamn, goddamn idiot. Fool not to <laughs> oh, that's dope, man. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I've been slacking again. Me too, man. I got to get back on it. I was doing it with the kids, and we were going good. And then I, I blame them. I was doing Portuguese and found out I'm going to Colombia. So, uh, oh, you guys go, oh, go back man. to Spanish. Back to Spanish. Spanish it is. Spanish is just the safest. It's just the most. I think a third of the world. It's out here. Yeah. It's just out here. Yeah. Where we live is yeah. here. I wish I would have paid attention in school. Me too. Like, because I, I didn't know I was going to end up in LA. Mm. And my Spanish name was La Bamba. La Bamba. Uh, I didn't think it was La Bamba. But I used to cheat off of Tanya. Tanya out. I used to cheat <laughs> off of her all the time. But if I would have known I was going to yeah. move to LA, I would have really taken Me too. Spanish um, serious. Because I took French one and two. I was in French club for what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably do Francais. Yeah, man. Yeah, Can't see her how you yeah, yeah, man. Tony, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was just like, man, I should have. But, but I tried Spanish. Mm-hmm. In all fairness, I tried. But my teacher was trash. Yeah. He was a coach. Sometimes you get trash. He would go up there, he'd be like, did I give y'all an assignment yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> We'd be like, no. Nah, no, nah, of course we're going to say no. Right. He didn't know what he was doing. He was trash. What, so what was, was like, the coach? Uh, coach? I don't know what he coached. <laughs> right. Because it wasn't football. Right. Coach Tarasas, man, he was terrible. What, what, what y'all went through with y'all coaches, what would y'all do if your kid was in this situation? If in my kid, situation? If, like my, with, say, like, she's you, been man. on teams where they just were like, we need a big, you just bored, and you shoot, you sitting down. And I took him and just moved him to another team. Now, if you're on the, on your kid's on team, they're on the end of the bench, and it doesn't look like they're getting a chance to get in, what would you do? Depends. If I know his ass deserves to be on the end of the bench. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta work, you gotta work harder, son. But if I know, like, there's a one day, one thing my dad always did, he always like had my back. So when that, even when the coach had the vendetta, like my dad went up to the school, was like, let me know, mm-hmm. let me tell you something, man. Like, he he he, he had to go there. Your dad a big boy too. Right. He had to go, he had to go there with him. What a coach was six eight. Oh, 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 okay. All right. well, but your dad's <laughs> arms are six eight. Yeah. 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 Six, but he was he was six eight. He was six eight. Soft white, dude. like he wasn't. My dad oh, had zero okay. fear yeah. of, <laughs> right. but he had to tell him, like, man, listen. And your dad was a bus driver. This oh, not, not back then. Oh, okay. He did. He carried mail back oh, then. Just oh, seen the bus man. pulling yeah. up to the school. And <laughs> <laughs> be smoke, if he was smoke up there comes out. With the mail bag, like, you gonna put my son in to cut this horse shit out. Yeah. Letters he, flying out. Because the bag. No, it, went, it went all the way to like the the. He tried to sit me for seven games. Oh wow! Mm. And for what? And you were the best one on the team because of the policy. Like if you, because the policy was if you miss a practice, you miss a game or whatever. But the practices I missed was the games I missed at the tournament. So it already had balanced out. Mm. But he was trying to do like just extra because he was yeah. just, he was upset like just for no reason. It was his first year there, and mm-hmm. I think he was trying to make an impression. Right. And then I apparently messed that up. I'm like, be hard some people power coach. hungry. Yeah, well, that too. Well, and and he had know, never coached black. He came from a white school. Our whole mm-hmm. team was black. He didn't know nothing about nothing. There is no family. Like vacation. he was trying to he was trying to put in like certain like offenses that we, we was like, bro, we're athletic. Yeah. Like just let us run. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. he was trying to he was just doing the most and had no idea what he was doing. And <laughs> we had a white coach come uh, on our football team, and then uh, he saw how fast we all were. He's like, <laughs> oh. 
oh, we can change things. Because <laughs> he, he had won some state championships. Right. We were hyped to have him. And then yeah. he was running like this super like pulling guard. And he was like, he was like, no, you guys are like too fat. Like, like they can't get over here. Right. He was like, oh. No, he was so hyped. Yeah, right. He's like, oh, he was at home like, ah, in the playbook. <laughs> you guys can change we, I mean, we broke some records for our man. Shout out to Mike Adams. We're one of the best running backs I've ever, ever seen. Uh, he was very Barry Sanders-esque. Like, he yeah. was amazing. And he had, like, broke records at our school and, 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 and at Michigan in general. And Did he win a championship? No, very very sad. No, no, no. But it was the first time we went to the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time we went to the playoffs in twenty years, and we were like, oh, very, very, very sad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now he was great, and then, uh, but man, he was just like, oh, we run this offense. He was just like, I, 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 like, oh, black people. <laughs> like, I we wish could do had that. He did not have that. He was trash. I still, I would have still have a beef with him if I didn't. If he something happened to him. As an adult, I went back from my brother's graduation, yeah. and I was gonna say something to him. Like I'm an adult now, <laughs> right. and then somebody, because I wanted to stick to him. Like I still got my scholarship. He was going around calling schools, telling people, "Don't pick this kid up." Are you wow. serious? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Coaches do that. Bro. They'll be wow. like, he has an attitude. He's uncoachable. Really? He was calling my my coach. Ended up telling me he was like, "Yeah, he was calling, telling." That's Dang. why. So my, when hey, I got to 16. when I got to the the JC, my coach there. Was, had a little thing against me based off what this dude said, and then he, for himself, you know, was like, "Oh, you, you know, That's we good." Crazy. Wow. That's but crazy. so I was gonna say something to him, and then my other teammate was like, "Ah, oh, man, he just and what he had went through." I was like, even at that age, I was like, "It ain't, it ain't worth." What you did know. he go through? Did you smash his daughter or something? No, he it was over that thing. Wow. But right when I was gonna say something, he had they had had a baby and they had lost the baby, oh. and so he and did I, that on purpose. And I see him walking around and he looked like. <laughs> Dejected as shit, yeah. and I was just like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, I don't uh, it still really strikes me that you would have said something. No, nah, I didn't say anything. No, nah. I was just like, mm. ah. yeah. I just thought it was weird to have a beef with a child. I would have, I would have yeah. asked him still just to see why. <laughs> why? Yeah. Right. Like he had what, beef what, with what, a what child. What were you doing? Why, like, why, why me? Oh, you held on there for <laughs> ten <laughs> years, and you had <laughs> your moment. Respect. Was like losing. No, it wasn't even ten years. It was like it was. I went back. Uh, my brother graduated two years after me. Oh, okay. So it was just two years later, and I was just like, "Did your brother play yeah, for him? I, nah, I, no, my brother didn't do any sports. Keith, no sports. Yeah, obviously. You know what though? If if I had a if I had a kid who was in the bench and wasn't getting in, one one is like, yeah, you got to work hard. If you really really love this, then you shouldn't have a problem working hard to be the best. Also, I'm not opposed to trying golf or trying to <laughs> right. <You're gonna> switch <laughs> sport. Because no, you'll do a sport that you'll be like, oh, I'm like, I felt like I was naturally good at football early on. Yeah. Basketball, I was like, what, what are we doing? Basketball and baseball, I was like, oh, I'm really good at these things naturally. Yeah. Wrestling, I had to really work hard at. Uh -huh. you know, I was not natural at that, but I really liked it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I would be like, bro, if you really, really want to be good, you got to get up. You got to yeah. get up before everyone else gets up. Yeah. You got to work your ass off. Or. Pick up a golf club. Try right. something else. Try something else. Go bowling. You but, know if, what I mean? but if it was a case where the coach was sticking it to my kid, I'm I'm well, then you pull I'm, in, I'm then pulling you up on the coach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the but if it's just, and, and I'm at the practices. Right. Like you gotta make that time to be there. Because I wanna see, okay, well, if you're saying whatever he's doing, what is he not doing? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, he's not doing this in practice. Okay, I'm gonna go to practice. And right. Because yeah. I wanna yeah. see if he's on. not listening. Mm -hmm. I wanna see yeah. if he's just being a bonehead or, you know. Right. Because kids act different when the parent is around. Yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. it's the best practice he ever had. <laughs> right. Or sometimes you gotta be he's sneaky. You got to sneak up and watch. Right. Or sometimes yeah. these coaches be lying. They got vendettas against kids. Coaches like, they're just weird, bro. Sometimes you, might sometimes sometimes you just might school. happen to yeah. grow up in the same neighborhood as Michael Jordan, and he's at your position on that team. That's what I'm saying. You like, move. You're right about that. <laughs> yeah. that sometimes you're like, I'm a beast, but I can't beat him. <laughs> that happens, too. That's the thing. Sometimes you are good, but that person's just better. Yeah. Like, that happens. They didn't even give Garrick a shot, though, man. Come on, man. Yeah, he. And but I. But he I, already admitted that he gets he, nervous in the real but game. But, but, but I play game. in tenth grade. I started. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing, tenth grade, they moved me up. Mm -hmm. Oh, to varsity. So, to varsity, eleventh grade grades. I played half the year, mm, and then twelfth grade, no time. Like I thought I was gonna be the man because in tenth right. grade you move right. up to varsity. I Did was you like, have the Yo. same coach every year? Yeah, Lou. Wilson. Maybe he was mad at you over the grades. I don't know. Or he, did or, some, he just yeah, didn't it, depend on you because you were. And, and, yeah. and I thought I was going to because it's kind of piggyback on what you said. My father used to ball with him. Oh. When, look, this, this like when he I was around at the ten, house? yeah, like around eight, 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 eight to ten years old, because my <laughs> father could play. So every Sunday they would go to Douglas High School and play. So Lou would be out there. With them balling, 
So I was like, yo, what if your father- dad was buzzing his ass? <laughs> and that's why I was like, this I was like, this is this is like this is been dead. I used to really think, did my father smash his wife? Like, did yeah. something happen? Because I thought I was assuring, because when Lou came to our school, I was like, yo, I got a relationship. I know he, 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 Uncle he, Lou. he knew when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be good. But Uncle my Lou father knew. never said anything His to wife me. could have got smashed. His yeah. house could have been using blue chew. Oh, Speaking <laughs> oh, yeah. of smashing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice yeah. job, yeah. Gary. The lead in. The lead in. In. <laughs> Guys, it's time to bring that summer heat into the bedroom. Oh. The temperatures aren't the only thing that's rising this summer. Hey. Hmm? That's right, man. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Oh. Yeah, man. Guys, confidence can take <laughs> take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, especially when it comes to uh, comes time to step it up and step up to that plate. Mm. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night. Um, Oh, yeah. So you you can can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. Mm. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Luchu's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet yeah. package. Secret. You know what I'm saying? That way everybody ain't all up in your business. You got that blue chew coming down and dick pills over there? <laughs> all across the street. You got biggest you know problems? Yeah, man. It's real discreet. The Blue Chew men everywhere are excited to see the postman because when your package has arrived, your package Mm. has (laughs) arrived. (laughs) They always say first impressions are important. (laughs) What about lasting impressions? It's Mm. time to get off the couch and back to work. If your tool needs an upgrade, head to BlueChew.com. Women say there's nothing sexier than confidence, and Blue Chew can help give you confidence where it counts. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. What? Try Blue Chew free when you use the promo code issues and <laughs> check out. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com promo code issues to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and importantly, uh, and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Thank you, Blue yeah. Chew. Yeah. Have a you hard on tackle on these us. questions here since <laughs> DC ain't in here. Hard on oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the questions in the. Uh... Yeah. Ashley J87. <clears throat> question What traditions did your father pass on to you that you pass on to your children? Traditions. Father traditions. I don't know if I have any traditions. I, I have lessons. Know. I have tradition. Uh, I would say uh, grilling. Step pops. Uh, pops didn't, but step pops uh, passed down the grill. Okay. Grilling it up. Yeah. Did he have a, had a grill. The cookout grill sandals? Touch, yeah, for sure. Yeah. He had <laughs> thick soles. <laughs> yeah. He got them from Costco. Nice. They lasted a long time. They had nice. like a car uh, tire t- uh, on the mm-hmm. bottom. But yeah, just <laughs> getting up. Getting the grill ready, staying on that shit all damn day. Okay. You wear the apron and everything. Nah. You wear nah. Nigga kiss the cook apron. <laughs> no, like no. There's no aprons. Just okay. just sweaty nigga out there. How, uh, <laughs> how close do you get your hair get to the slave fire? Burgers. Is it? <laughs> nah, it's a uh, it's it's a nice little. Uh, I get out there early. It's like what uh, you be grilling, Craig? What's on the grill? What's um, on the well, so Craig's first, house Sunday? You, you got to boil the ribs and get them okay. nice and okay. tender. Mm-hmm. Then you throw them on the grill for that sear, man. Okay. Then you oh, you sh- boil them first. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta get the inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get the the worms and shit out. Huh. Isn't that worms and uh, pork? Yeah, probably most, most meat. meat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I heard. That. I heard that's supposed to make them tender and help fall off the. Yeah, uh-huh. get your wings going. Get mm-hmm. some burgers and you know, just be cheap. Then you throw your little side. You know, you got your little lamb that everybody can't get. <laughs> That's more okay. expensive. You always got to keep your food. Except a little I love bit of lobster. I love so it. Like, where's the lobster? Oh, I went early. You should got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get on hand down. Garrett, what you got? Traditions. Oh, man. Man, my father, he was a good father. But I, do we even have any traditions? 
Or something y'all did together that you do with your kids? Play um, basketball. You play, <laughs> but, you play with the girl? But, yeah, mm-hmm. but they're going to be on the bench. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a so, yeah. Nobody so, in this family yeah, gets so, in the game, yeah, God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're all what bench are, riders in what here. What if your kid was a star? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, get your ass on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we what do it. What if your daughter was a star? You're like, hey, when you go up, like, Dad, what do you know about uh, yeah, but nah, mine's, I guess it would be basketball. That's okay. no, like I, I, I went out with them a couple of times. Yeah, Wait, did, did, did your pops cut your hair? Did y'all have like family? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to come I um, laid a newspaper down. That's how I started cutting hair because I asked him, and this is, you know, remember breaking? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he turbo was on, whatever. Yep. I was like, yo, give me a hot top. He didn't want to tell me he didn't know how to do it. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Because it was all even Stevens. Yeah. That's what I was getting. But this was tr- a tricky cut. So I was like, all right, man, make me look like Turbo. And he gave me the mirror, bro, no and I look like a unicorn. And you know, you you know right. He's like, yeah, you Turbo. <laughs> and you know us, <laughs> when you go outside, outside especially black right. kids, we right. tease each other. Oh, man. As soon as I went outside, damn, nigga, like, yeah. like <laughs> my little ponies. Like, yeah. they was calling me all that. <laughs> and I still, <laughs> yeah, they still, my little pony, everything. And uh, and I was like, you know, you know what, I'm about to start cutting my own hair. Did you, uh, when you got the unicorn, did you go in there and fix it back yourself? No, nah, I had to you deal with it, Tony. It? Yeah, yeah, you for like two weeks. Off? Yeah, nah, because oh, wow. I was I was only ten, so <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, Man, you got shredded. Yeah, Man, for, for, two for weeks? About two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Did you? Uh, but is that something you passed down to your daughters? Can they cut? Nah, no. not yet. Did you pass down Glory in Age or Sky? Or they lazy. Or la- the conversations <laughs> is great, but they, they didn't take on the going no. and cutting. I gave them clippers for their 16th birthday. Mm. They just sat in the box. <laughs> or they come with their clippers when they want haircuts. So hey. I was like, that's the perfect time to get conversations in. So yeah. they didn't take nothing you tried to pass mm, down. Yeah. Just don't pass. He passed the and they looked at the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask y'all something. Do your kids do something that you wish you could do good? <laughs> Like I wish I could draw, mm. oh, like and I've never been able to draw. Yesterday. Yeah, I'm, I've never been able to draw. But my daughter, my oldest, can draw her ass off, and mm, I was like, dope. I always wanted to do that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. Serain, Serain was a better athlete than I ever was for sure, mm-hmm. especially in football. I was like, yeah, he was pretty good. Living, living vicariously through that. Absolutely. And sincere as a math whiz, so just like, man, you smart and whatnot. That's what's up, you know. They can do so much that I couldn't do. I'm just like, yeah. you know, that's Sincere seems so calculated, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, when I was asking them uh, on Father's Day, we was leaving Lamert Park, and I was just like, what's something that you, w- what's a talent that you wish you had? And he was just like, music. Mm-hmm. And I was like, me too. And then I was like, yeah, it fluctuates between music and art. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, because I was looking at like art, and we was driving down, uh, we was driving through Little Ethiopia, and I was just looking at art on the wall. And I was like, man, this gotta be dope to be able to draw. Like, you can just create something from your oh, imagination yeah, yeah. and just nail it and just have it up, and you no can doubt. sell it. You can put it up. Mm-hmm. It's just like, man, it's, it's amazing. Like, and then my brother Scott could really draw, but he just quit doing it. I was like, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Wait, I so wish did, I could draw. So, mine. did y'all start the band? Huh? <laughs> you was like, I wish I could play music too. <laughs> <laughs> we should start a band. <laughs> Let's get it going. <laughs> does, does he still fall asleep when he get his hair cut? Sincere? Yeah, yeah. Because he used I don't to always. Know, I haven't been with him at the at the okay. shop in a while. He had just got his his mom did his hair recently. He got some like uh like dread type. Joints. Oh, okay. He got the beads in him. But he goes to get edged up, so I don't know. He probably did. Because I used to cut his son's hair yeah. all the time. He used to always fall asleep. Every time. He slept more than any kid that I knew. Even yeah. when he was waiting, he was sleeping. Like, he here, always man. slept. He yeah. went to the movies yesterday. He was asleep. That means he believed in he me. Was sleeping. I he never fall asleep. asleep. He was sleeping, <laughs> man. Because he'd be up late. Uh, he'd be up mad late. Mm. Playing games, video, video games. games. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just fall asleep anywhere, bro. It'd be yeah, car, he'd be out of here. Mid burrito, <laughs> out of here. The hair. I was like, I, want, I almost took his food one time, just just to be like, wake up. Man. Yeah, he be. You at work? Gone. But uh, like my dad, <clears throat> the tradition that he passed on to me was actually going to the movies. Mm-hmm. Well, my, both my parents did it, but he used to take us all the yeah. time. Like we would go to his house on the weekend, he would take us to the movies. He took us to see ET like three times. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> He's like, all right, man. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing about my dad is he's cheap. Mm-hmm. He's super cheap. He's a so, great man, father. He is. <laughs> he's a great father. <laughs> Annoyingly cheap. So it's just like as soon as he got cable, we quit going to the movies. He's like, man, we can just watch it. I'm like, man, 
man, the movie. We just was, wait eight months till it come out on cable. Man, this one, the eighties, it took forever. It took forever. Yeah. Yeah. on cable. It took a year. Yeah, yeah. 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 He was like, man, come on, man. Because then you, you would hope in some months it came out to VHS. Man, or something like they that. they would have to bomb at the box <laughs> office for me to see it fast <laughs> right. on cable. Yeah. yeah, But if it was a hit movie, they would stay in theaters for a year. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just like, man, come on, man. So he's like, we got the cable, and I was like, I ain't gonna be this. And so. And my dad, he 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 could paint too, mm. and so he'd be painting. But but the one thing that he used to do to so, because you know he, he's he's big on church, and that mm. didn't translate to me. Mm -hmm. So it was just like I took the movies from him basically mm -hmm. as a tradition. You know, that's the only thing I got from pops. I think I took. I was just talking about it when we we went to his house this weekend, and then I stopped at my mom's on the way back, mm -hmm. and I was like, I I don't understand. My mom and dad are very neat. Very like, what? Very neat. Oh, neat. Like when this I stay, it was neat. It was cozy. Neat as hell. Yeah. yeah. It's, and I so I like staying at my mom and dad's when we go places <laughs> yeah. versus my brother's houses. Right. Because I just like clean. Yeah. Like and my Your brother's, brother's cribs be messy. Man. And like <laughs> both of them. Both of them. So I I, I I I was talking to my dad and I was like <clears throat> I I find it it's interesting that I'm the only one that took this from you guys. Yeah. Mm. I got three. It's, mm -hmm. it's four, and I'm the only one. The other three brothers, messy as hell. Yeah. But both of them are so, both my parents are so neat. I'm like, how did y'all become so messy? Right. And we grew up in a very neat house. Rebellion. They have neat house. Like, yeah. why didn't y'all pick this up? Like, we've been folding and washing clothes since we were, like, because my mom, <laughs> you know, boys and, you know, boys are nasty. She, we got to a certain point. She's like, I ain't washing y'all clothes no more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. not folding y'all clothes no more. So y'all learn how to do it. And my dad wasn't about when you take, you know, when you eat, them dishes got to be up. When you yeah. when you take clothes out the dryer, they ain't sitting out all day. Fold them, mm -hmm. put them away. Mm -hmm. Like, cause he's military, mm -hmm. and my mom was just clean. They used to do that. So he he With come by dust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. And I, you know I I used to play around. You know, slapping all these fingerprints, yeah. wipe them up. Yeah. Like wash the wall, washing walls on Saturdays. Yeah. Like, oh, he was very clean. Mm -hmm. And my brothers are just it didn't, it didn't messy as hell. And I'd be like, you yeah. know what happens though, bro? You get into this thing where like I'm older now, I'm gonna do whatever I want. And you just have bad habits. They and were you, like that as kids though too. They just didn't. It bothered me. Yeah. I didn't like. Tell us why this is, Chaz. You about this messy yeah. life? Why y'all like this? <laughs> why y'all like? It's this? not that I'm about a messy life. It's just why I was like, oh, I'll get to a later life, right? Because like, because mm. there comes a point when I go like, this is ridiculous, right? Yeah. And then it's like, we got to clean this up. But also, it's not a thing where I go like, this has to happen now. This has to happen now because I enjoy chilling. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I like chilling so much that I can be like, okay, that pile of clothes, hey, it ain't going nowhere. Them dishes, they ain't going nowhere. But yeah. it's like. Once you get to a point, like, I mean, I've never had a place that I lived in that roaches came in. You know what I mean? But, uh -huh. like, there's also times when you're like, hey, this is a shit show in here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or something that takes, like, way too they long get the cold to get red, to. You finally snap out of it. <laughs> yeah, well, not even, but, like, now <laughs> but now you get so busy, you yeah. know what I mean, that you're like, yeah, I got to I gotta do a bunch of little stuff. Otherwise, you'll just be overwhelmed trying to get everything done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, so now I'm a lot better, especially with having the kid, like, you know, as you, we all know, like, you can't just leave kids stuff around like it never gets. Yeah. I can't yeah. leave it up to her to get <laughs> right to pick up her stuff. So you gotta and in, in, in teaching that makes me better because now I'm like, oh, I gotta do it so she knows that we do this now. Right. You know I mean? yeah. so Are you one to clean up before company comes over? Oh, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm also I'm also not one to like I'm not I'm not doing a ton because I'm like if you know me. You're gonna get some. You're gonna. It's gonna be some stuff around that you're gonna be like, "Well, it's Chaz." But if you're, if I'm trying to impress you, mm -hmm. which doesn't happen often that I'm trying to impress somebody. Then yeah, you'll see me with the, yeah, the mop and shit trying to <laughs> the, fake, the fake clean people. Yeah, hey, yeah, I'm a hundred percent a fake clean person. Oh, yeah, just bro. throw Fabuloso on it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fabuloso. Yeah, I'm passing that. They clean up. Like, they do. And, they, and it ain't no. We don't feel like. I'm like time. They all right, and they gonna knock it out. Cause I'm like, y'all gotta do that before you do. Whatever it is you right. want to do. And they be like, all right. So, like, it don't be, I let them take their toys out. I've loosened up on that. Like, if you want to play in the living room, fine, mm -hmm. whatever. But when you're done, they put go up. And they put it up. They, I'm like, all right. So, I'm just, I just want them to be, because I'm trying to teach them, like, how I learned. If you just stay on top of it, there's no, you're right. there's, there's no, no right. oh, we got to do all right. this. You just, right. It's just a little here yeah. and there real quick. It's way it. easier. If you let stuff pile up, don't nobody want to do that. Right. Like, yep. no one wants to do a pile. pile like, when up. I was a kid and mm -hmm. we had to do the family dishes, I hated that shit. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I'm like, I didn't, I didn't do all uh, this. Man. And then you're there. You're like, I could be having so much fun. So right doing now. anything <laughs> else. Doing nothing. But the little clean, like the car. Like, the car, I just keep it clean. Yeah. Rather than... You know, mm -hmm. you, you let it build up. Now that we got the, I paid for the little car wash. Mm -hmm. You can go as much as you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vacuum. So I'm there. 
Man. Every time we stop by, like on the way back, yeah. I've been there twice a week now doing the thing. I'm like, let me run in here real quick. Yeah, man. Uh, I think I passed down. But well, one, me and Izzy are playing a lot more baseball. Uh-huh. So we'll go to, well, uh, we haven't had a chance to, but we'll go to the <laughs> park and she teaching her like the, hitting off the tee. So that's been dope. That was a big thing in our family. And then. Uh, so your dad passed that to you? Definitely. Oh, okay. Baseball was big in our family. Yeah. And then between, you know, me and my brother and my dad, that was like 100% what I wanted to do was play baseball. And then uh, now, and even so, my dad was a writer, and so that game passed on to me. I've always been writing since I was a kid, writing yeah. stories and all that good stuff. And so now, me and Izzy, she's very bad at it, but she'll, <laughs> she'll tell a story. Yeah. I go like, yo, tell me a story. <laughs> and she's, uh, it's, it's the most random, there's an elephant all of a sudden, yeah. and then there's a bird who came by. And I go like, what? Whoa. But I want her to get into this thing. I thought like, you were like, wait, that doesn't make <laughs> sense. No, no, none <laughs> of it, you mean. None of it story. makes sense. It's a whole the elephant all, talk with a terrible story. So a the terrible. eagle was carrying an elephant? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, How big was the eagle? Really? I don't think that could really happen. Okay. She, she, if she goes off on tangent? Oh, uh, but she'll just go. Or like if you give her a book, like I'll be like, hey, let's read it. She's like, I'm gonna read to you, <laughs> right? And she'll take the book, and she just like whatever picture she sees. That's what story happened. There was a boy outside. He came in. His mom got mad. Told him to clean up. Turn page. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so I'm hoping that, especially in the life now, she'll see story storytelling. I don't care right. what format she takes it, but if she learns to tell a dope story, that'd be yeah. great for me to be able to like, oh, okay, she understands, right? Like that aspect. What she's not gonna get from me is cooking because I use Factor. Oh, yeah. 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 As the weather gets warmer, Factor can help you spend less time at home in the kitchen. Cause it'd be hot when you cooking, bro. It'd be, bro. It'd be way it too hot. I was in hot. there sweating. Even I gotta turn the air on. Hey, I'd be like, damn it. I was in there sweating the other day on the I said, I'm not doing this is the last yeah. damn meal of the summer. Uh, enjoying the springtime with no cooking, grocery shopping, or dishes, plus the perfect health conscious grab and go add ons like smoothies and juices, which I enjoy. Luckily, I don't have to meal prep or plan. Luckily, I don't have to meal plan or prep, and I can still eat well. Not that I leave my meals to Factor. Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24 7 with fresh, never frozen prepared meals that are so delicious, you wouldn't believe they're actually good for you. They are actually good, though. Mm-hmm. I had a, yeah, they actually surprised me. I was like, okay. Feel good for summer. Choose from factors, calorie smart, and keto options with built-in portion control as a great tool to help you get fit for the summer. Tony's the one who told me about calorie counting. Right? Tony, you said what? Said, your calories. So Tony was the one who first told me about calorie counting. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, factor I now offers get back to that, by calorie counting. Getting fat. You look good though, here, man. Look at fact, you. Okay. Factor now <laughs> offers thirty meals for a week, but you can choose from a variety of new meals every week. On top of that, Factor gives you the option to change it up and select any plan size between 14, four to eighteen meals per week. That's a lot uh, of meals. Factor, yeah, that's a lot of meals. Factor saves definitely saves me a lot. I got factors in my in my grocery bag right now. My grocery bag, my little lunch box right now. Uh, factor even knows my preferences. They offer vegan Tony plus veggie oh, meals, yeah. keto meals, oh, low calorie man. options, cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy cold bites, plant based bars, extra protein, veggie sides, and more. Yeah, they also much. have beef jerky mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you, you should go to go.factor75.com slash issues120. That's issues120 to get $120 dollars off. Oh, $120 off? $120 yeah. off. It's a pair of sneakers. That's Hell issues120 yeah. at go.factor75.com slash issues120. That's a full tank of gas. Goddamn It is now. That's a goddamn shame. That's just a full <laughs> tank, man. Yeah, save a full tank of gas, get you some factor. God I have a damn. Honda Fit, and it cost me over 50, 60. A Honda Fit. 50, 60 sounds like a dream right now. But I'm saying, <laughs> that should be, my my car, when we first got it, $20 maybe? Dang. Maybe? I'm getting a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go electric. Don't give me a Prince motorcycle from Purple Rain. <laughs> the big front. Hey, that, that you gonna ride on the of. back? Go no, ahead. You, you gonna ride on the back? I'm ride on my own back. <laughs> Take like, me. I don't even know the prices of gas now. Yeah. Because uh, I hear yeah. people talk about. Oh, you electric? Huh? Like, but there's so <laughs> many. There's so <laughs> many. Yeah. There's so yeah. many plug stations now. Yeah. Like, they everywhere now. Everywhere. You, how long does it take though? That'd be my thing. No, see, I, I plug at my house. Uh huh. So for me, it's. I plug like about eight hours, seven. About it's seven, overnight. Hours. overnight. But, but but when you go to the the Tesla station, it's I think twenty 30, minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Heard twenty to forty five minutes depends on. So if you drive, so it it is. yeah. Oh, wow. So if you drive in, so you charge at your house overnight, and then let's say you drive in on the five, and you stop at like a Tesla. That only take like thirty minutes. Yeah, like it just depends on how low it is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But Don't, usually you're going to charge empty. when it's low, so it take like about twenty. 
for 35 minutes. So you, so you don't do it minutes. like your phone where you just get home no matter what it, what is that. You don't, nah, you don't nah, just about plug every three days. Every about three about days, every three okay. days. Damn, that's that's when bad. I have to charge. The only, yeah. time, the only time it sucks is if you don't have a Tesla dealership around. Then you got to go to one of those <laughs> random ones and pay. In the mall? Yeah. Oh, oh Tesla dealership is free? The Tesla stations. Yeah, because the su- they supercharge because it charges faster. Oh, okay. okay. But like you say, if you got to go to one of those random ones, it might take longer. Yeah. What about if you like, because I be seeing them like at the mall and stuff. You, yeah. You, you just, those take long? Or, yeah. How are much those, it costs No, no, the, the one like at Burbank Mall, yeah, they got that's a supercharge. There. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. so that might be about $12. Like, oh, they charge, it, it, but they charge It, it depends on what time you go. Like if you go now, it might be $12, but later on, like after Rush six, hour or yeah, peak time. It's, it's cheaper. So, it you, might, so you guys are paying... No, 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 cheaper late at night. Yeah. Really? Peak, yeah, peak time is... Wait. So the only time you guys aren't paying is at a Tesla spot or at your house? Any other time you're paying? Well, like no, you, you pay you, at you, the no, Tesla oh, spot. Oh, you pay at the Tesla spot. Oh, okay. you, Yeah, you pay... There it's too. just lower when it's not like rush hour or something. Would you get like 300 miles now? The Tesla for, with, with mine... For, nah, with mine is 245 mm. or... Some, but it depends on which Tesla you have. I mean, but $12, $12 <laughs> 240 miles, man. I'm about to say, yeah. like, yeah, that's it's and, still cheaper than yeah. gas. And then yeah. even when I'm at home, well, at home, it's when I charge at home, right, right. It's, it's about 6 to $8. And right. if you have solar paneling, it drops down even more. Well, I, I don't I'll, know. Yeah. So it costs about a hundred and something dollars to fill my car up. That, right. That'll give me 400 and some right. miles. So 12 is, that's a dream. Damn. It's a <laughs> Man, do, you, do you cry at the pump? I just be like, this is goddamn ridiculous. Damn, I, I, I just be no watching more. it go up. It's and like seeing like, the school bully. Now, do yeah, you go fill ahead, up man. and then <laughs> empty, or do you like do halfway? When I then, first got the car, I used to refill it every time it got the half. Mm-hmm. But now I just be. I'm on a thirty dollar budget. No matter where you at, you get thirty. That's it. Thirty every time. Thirty in this car is nothing. And it's crazy because. I, f- I was like, dog, why am I spending so much money so fast? But everything is crazy expensive. Everything, everything, everything. Is food high right is high right now. For every, everything, flight, dude, everything, it's, everything. It's oh, these high flights. Because I was like, there's no way I burned through this much money, bro. I was like, I, I don't even spend like this. I'm looking through yeah. my, uh, yeah. like a Bank of America. I'm like, what the hell did I? I'm like, this is all normal stuff. And I'm like, dog, this is groceries. This is yep. gas. This is regular shit. That's mm. crazy. Like I've never appreciated. The ships more than I do now because oh. I don't pay for anything. Oh. Right, they cover the flights, they cover the food. So I'd be yeah. like, man, I just I don't want to be here, but shit, <laughs> saving money. I'm though, saving money and I'm making it. So yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm just like, hey, man, that's the appeal. The crazy during the pandemic, no, we weren't spending any money. Right, like that was a good time. That was a great time. It kind of made you realize, you really, go, yeah, we was in the house, in the crib. We was in the we was in the crib. <laughs> Not spending oh. the grocery store. Was the place to go. Yeah. That was yeah. the club. That was during, the, <laughs> like, during the pandemic, the line was out there, just like yep. the club, everything. You had to but, stand in line outside. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Secret. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, everything's going up in price. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing that ain't in it. You see what I start fixing my eyes? Yeah, so uh, with my son going, I saw going Craig on, getting his feet. Together. He was getting his feet together. He was like, All right, here we go. Yeah. With my son going to college, we went to lower our plans, so we uh, so we have more for food. So we went with Mint Mobile. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tell me about it. The big wi- uh, the big wireless providers forget that families come in all sizes mm-hmm. and in shapes. That's why Mint Mobile decided to shake it up the wireless industry with their brand new modern family plan. Mm-hmm. Each line starts at fifteen bucks a month. Mm-hmm. Keon, mm. don't be winking at me on the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you only need two lines to get started. No matter how big or small your family is, you deserve to save on your wireless service. Mm-hmm. Uh, for anyone that hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers wireless for just 15 a month, like I said. Uh, it gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family. At Mint, family starts at two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, high-speed data delivered on our nation's largest 5G network. Plus, uh, Mint Mobile's family plan lets you mix and match data plans. So if one family member doesn't use as much as another, you get them the lower plan. Uh, yeah, so to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, including the modern family plan, go to mintmobile.com slash issues. issues. That's mintmobile.com slash issues. issues. Cut your wireless pill down to 15 bucks a month. 
Man, that's a good deal. Yeah. Mine's is 100 and something right now. Man, you can have 10 phones. Yeah, mine is. Mine's one something for two lines. Being mine's a, is by myself. Being an outsider, I just want to commend all y'all on y'all reading. <laughs> like, like it's it's really good. Like, cause I get so nervous when read I have to read out loud. Oh my god! I'm I'm I, 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 I need I glasses. So I need glasses <laughs> yeah. right now, and they be on me. They be like, ah, oh, listen to Craig. <laughs> nah, they had your back. All right, like, I, I, I would be practicing Chris. before I knew it was my turn to read. Like, I get scared, bro. And I can to read, but day? yeah, yeah. Like, if, if reading out loud is pressure, bro. <laughs> it, that, did y'all get better as y'all? Went along? Oh, yeah, I used to avoid them because I can't, right now I can't see. So mm. it's a, I can, but it's like I have to keep it at a that. That was a great read for Craig. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I got to keep that it at a certain like the, yeah. I might be your good luck. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. Hey. That's the Craig. Uh, Craig's okay. Craig, uh, first read, bro. Crazy crazy falling down I, the I steps. wish I could, we got to find that episode. It was iconic, bro. Oh, man. Was I didn't realize my eyes were bad till we had to start reading. Ads. Yeah. Mm. When Craig, Craig looks so ads. young, bro, but his eyes is <laughs> every <laughs> bit. His <laughs> eyes is pushing fit. He got 80 year old eyes. <laughs> every bit. No, I've definitely gotten better at reading because we do it so much. Yeah. Like, and reading faster. Mm-hmm. Like just. Yeah. Because y'all even it. had to. It was, it was it called inflection. inflection. Yeah. yeah. Y'all even had the inflection. I've always been a fan of reading out loud, though. Yeah. Even yeah. as a kid. Like, I, I was just. I would be scared of certain words if I was unfamiliar. That would be the only thing to. Be, Everything else, I'd be like, yeah, yeah. A new yeah, word, yeah, mess yeah. you up for this, you dummies. <laughs> I would come in and be like, ah. I'll never forget the first time I saw the word schedule, though. That tore my ass loose. <laughs> <laughs> I seen it. I was like, hey, dude. But luckily, it came up with another student before she got through. I remember her name, Camilla. Camilla Noose. Saved your ass. She was like, schedule. And I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I got the ass now, man. I- <laughs> but uh, I'm always like reading out loud. Though. I still make fun of this kid. He he said uh, vegetables. He was like uh, ve- veggie, veggie tables. I said Man. veggie tables. <laughs> veggie tables. That was, that was actually kind of common though. People veggie do that. Tables? Yeah, I get it. You, but when they say sound it out, yeah. and you're like veggie, veggie, veggie I know the tables. word tables. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. But I veggie still be like, I say easy all the time. You gotta eat your veggie tables. Yeah. I remember history class. Remember the Shiites. Mm-hmm. That, that was probably it. I said the shitties. What school did you <laughs> like, was your, I, was, I was like, the shitties, and everybody started That word <laughs> laughing. That word would tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, because it looks like it's, 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 like, it's, it's S-H-I-I-T-E-S, right? Yeah, and yeah. I was like, the shitties. The shitties. And you know, when you were in seventh grade, they teased me the rest of the world. I failed seventh grade. You did? Hell yeah. Twice, right? No, just one. I know. Damn, You dumb I just wasn't doing the work. Really? I was playing Nintendo like crazy, and my mom, was like, you got homework. I already did it, man. <laughs> you didn't just knock it out in summer school. I had to go to summer school to, 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 to stay to, on. To get, yeah, so right. I graduated on time, but I had to go to summer school. So yeah. I failed seventh grade. And it was mm-hmm. like, and luckily next door to my aunt was a teacher, Miss Griffith. She was like, he can come to my school, and then you know, because I'm a teacher over there. I busted my ass in summer school. Yeah. Boy, mm. I was in there like a beautiful mind. I was Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I was doing everything. You hey, know? summer school humble you, bro. Man, you, you know, like, I, I felt smart in there though. Mm. But uh, and then, but I still had to repeat half of seventh grade again. They were like, "We're gonna make sure you ain't bullshit." So I really only got half of an eighth grade education. Because I missed that first half. Explains I was a back lot. in seventh. Mm. Oh, wow. But I was killing in seventh again. I was like, man, this is easy work, man. Yeah. I remember this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was old. I was in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Low and everything. Like, yeah, let me tell you something. Were you embarrassed? Because <laughs> um, all your friends in the yeah. eighth grade classes. You know what? You know what? Not really. I was initially when she told me you're going to be with me next year. I was I was crushed. Mm-hmm. But then when I nailed summer school and then I was killing it in seventh again, I was just like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, focused on I getting was back to eight. in seventh again. <laughs> that wasn't again. killing it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't supposed to get back. <laughs> I killed summer school. I killed seventh grade again. Yeah. again. You know what I'm saying? Did I didn't yeah. kill it the I first time. I was back on JV. <laughs> I was balling, man. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you had like, I remember this. Yeah, because that that taught me that you know when I apply myself, I can get shit done. Yeah, under yeah. the under the gun. Yeah. And so when I got back in eighth grade, I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all mm-hmm. y'all counted me out. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mentally quit school in fourth grade, bro. 
Oh, fourth wow. grade, wow. fourth grade fourth, is, fourth is the start grade. of my downfall. This, though. That's when I was like, "This is dumb. I don't want to. I don't care. And yeah. I'm I'm better than this, anyways." But <laughs> wow. you better than this? Because I, I remember I was uh I never got any honor rolls, and I was like, "I'm gonna work really hard and get an honor roll." Yeah. And I remember I had like all B's and one C, and then I was like. Damn, that was my best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, dang, dog, that was my not a single A that, anyway. That was a stunning achievement for I you said, right you there. I said, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm good at other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I'm just gonna focus on the stuff I'm good at. Right. And forget this. What was your issue with school? Like, why was it so hard? I don't know. Did you have undiagnosed maybe learning disabilities? Or something? Probably. Like, and my parents just said I was lazy. You know what I mean? Parents that's was like, the you're, thing. you're lazy. You know what I'm saying? We probably had disabilities we didn't know about. I still feel like. Yeah, they I didn't had, give us names uh, for what we Back did. then, no. Nah, yeah, because just... I know I had a math yeah. disability. I know what? I have a focus problem for sure. I still have a focus problem. Oh, yeah. I know I that for that. sure. Yeah. But and our parents, they, they didn't make us feel good about it. Hell no. They said, hey, you're lazy. Like, yeah, yeah. I, Apply I wouldn't yourself. say that. You, we don't do that now. I was lazy in seventh grade, though. Because mm-hmm. I literally was not doing the homework. And that, that's all on me. Mm-hmm. So I can't even say, you know, I just wasn't even. I but was in that case, if he effort. tried, like, I'm going to do all and the best yeah, he yeah, got, yeah, was yeah, too, yeah, obviously sure. something's no, going I, on. I was like, all right. And so then I was like, I just gotta, <laughs> right. and then, so then when I started just doing a minimum for sports, right, I was, mm-hmm. I was just like, I'm going to go get this C minus in. <laughs> and I'm just gonna ride this out so I can just play sports. Yeah. But my then, parents are like, you can do so much more. I'm like, I. But then I was like, I'm gonna go be an entertainer. I had already already planned that out. Yeah. I was like, let me just get out of this, and because that's why I started stand up at 18. That was as soon as I could, I was out. What made me want to quit school was I got all the wrong. Uh, positive stories like I heard <laughs> in 10th grade I heard Damon dropped out in 9th <laughs> and he yeah. and I, and I heard Jim Carrey <laughs> dropped out in 6th and I'm like oh what the fuck am I doing they right. dropped out that early both of them uh, Damon dropped out in 9th and I think Jim Carrey dropped out around God, ninth man. grade as wow. well did, did he ever go back and get his degree nah why I yeah, right. able, I mean, people, people but be some people would be that. doing that why? though, because some rich you people will go back and get their degree. Well, like, with, why? with making yeah. money and losing it, you learn how to manage it, and you start this, life lessons. Yeah, as you get <laughs> older and around different people, it's better than being in the best schools you could be. Agreed. In. Agreed. Yeah. You get to hang I out with Elon, Elon, Elon Musk. Like, wow, yeah. Damon was able good. to just quit school in ninth grade. Parents didn't trip. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, they tripped. Oh, okay. But he was doing his thing. They also had Did twenty kids. Out? No, he didn't move out. Uh, no, he didn't have kids till later. No, not not Damon. I'm talking about. He was just hanging his, out in the street. His parents. He wasn't selling no drugs. He wasn't he was doing nothing successful just in the street. Just the wasn't. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> hanging out with all the gangsters and stuff. <laughs> yeah. When you're the funny one, he was the funny one in the crew. Yeah, there you go. He he must, the club he's foot. still my favorite. I saw him last night. He was using big words. Big Damon or Little Damon? Big Damon. I was watching Blank Man was on in the green yes. room this weekend in Richmond. I was just like, yes. this movie's so funny, man. Blank Man is great, bro. Ninth Blank grade. Man is underrated. It's, it's still in my top five comedies of oh. all time. Kids love it. I love man. Blank Man. It's so funny. It's funny. We always pick the easiest route of someone successful to choose. Where a lot of people, they're like, oh, well, Patrick Beverly had to go to uh, junior college, then a D two, then whatever yeah. to make it to the league, and right. a lot of kids don't be like, "That's who I want to be like." No, <laughs> why? why? Who wants to do the <laughs> hard shit? Nobody wants that. First round right. draft pick out of high school, that's who they want to be. You you see stories like that and get inspired after you've been in the struggle for so long. Yeah. And you look, oh, it took you twenty years as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, I can still hang in there. Mm-hmm. But initially, you're gonna nah, see you that the I dropped out in ninth grade, and then you know they gave me a million dollars <laughs> when I was eighteen. <laughs> you be like, yeah, this is the story I want to follow. <laughs> <laughs> this is the track record I want right here. School I still sucks. want that. I still want someone to discover me and give me a bunch of money. Hey, Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson was in his late 30s, yeah, early right. 40s when he yeah. became successful. Mm-hmm. I gave up on the discovery. I'm like, this is just going to be a slow long, build. Long road. <laughs> this is going to be a slow build. <laughs> it is what it is. I was just, honestly, I was just happy to find something I love to do that I can, mm-hmm. that I can pay my bills with. Mm-hmm. Right. So everything else is just like, I don't even care. <laughs> About acting anymore, honestly, because yeah. I found something that mm-hmm. oh, well, I can live off this. You know what I'm saying? The acting is the icing on the cake. Sure, mm-hmm. I would love a you know rose mm-hmm. here and there, but I don't sit there and daydream like I used to mm-hmm. about making it as an actor. You know, I just be like, yeah, I would love, I would love this role, but. And I think it comes with age too, because mm-hmm. yeah. we're forty plus, mm-hmm. so it's like now you don't trip. First, you want to ah, be the star, yeah. be the. 
But now you're like, bro, if I can ride this out and pay my bills, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. and, and I got money in the bank, I'm That's cool. That's it. I'm cool. cool. And it's less stress mm. and all that stuff. But yeah. you also appreciate it, bro, because you, you'll struggle, you'll struggle, you'll struggle. Like I need, But also, man, you'll be like, you kill yourself wanting this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And yeah. then once you can, dog, that's the goal is being able to pay your bills, doing something you love, the entertainment. That is the goal. Right. That right. was always the goal. Right. Yeah, for right. me, for right. sure. You know what I mean? We wanted, like, you're like, oh, this is Kevin right. Hart level. And yeah. then you're like, dog, I'm doing everything I right. wanted to do. Like, right. we already made it. Right. Yeah. Like, like, people say, did you make it? They're thinking, you know, Kevin Hart. But, right. like, I made a post yesterday on Facebook. I was like, every day I wake up feeling so blessed because my boy asked me the other day, when's the last time you filled out a resume? I said it was before they was born. Ooh. So it's been a long time that I've had a job. This pay, this has been paying my bills for at least seven years. Wow. That's at good. least seven. So I'm like, I wake up every day, get to do what I love and, and on my pace, you know, right. sleep in if I want to, work hard I if I want no, to. You know, I haven't set an alarm No years. clock. Nobody's telling me, hey, if you don't get <laughs> here, we you're know, fine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we so, know. yeah, it's like we already, we already, but, and even when it comes to, Making money, I think we all could go get more money mm -hmm. if, like, we wanted to neg neglect other things. You know what I mean? Like, I could mm -hmm. literally double my income. It to be, a, I could be a deadbeat dad. Yeah, and go make, well, not, and we not, could be not, not deadbeat, but yeah. no, I could be mm -hmm. like to, I could make a ton of money, but never be home. Right. Yeah, like, that's why ever. I tell people this around this level of success is the most successful because you get mm -hmm. to go out, right. people acknowledge you, and you get to come home and actually be there you know, right. until yeah. it gets to the point where you have to always be out for people to right. make your money. Right. right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm, every day I'm That's thankful. Yeah. Like, every day. That's real. That is real. Yeah. Mm -mm. That was the dream it doesn't make sense to travel with your whole family because then they miss out on life. Mm -hmm. right. They just know hotel rooms and <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, theaters. Even Jack Harlow just said that in that song. Mm-hmm. He was like, I miss family time, whatever. You ain't say it like that, but yeah. you know, he rhymed way more bars than that. <laughs> <me. laughs> I miss family time. Because <laughs> <You know? laughs> <Did you know? laughs> now I, I was watching, I don't know if y'all saw Tony Hawk's special on HBO. You it. know, like it's real good. Like Tony Hawk was a beast. Right. But he right. just, 720. when he was at his top, uh -huh. he said he was his most sad. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he was the most sad. It's like, from yeah, like and, and he said he stopped. He actually quit, mm -hmm. and he was like, I, "I always dreamed of getting to this level." Yeah, and when I got there, it was like I'm not enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's crazy to me because I realized that the imagination is always better than reality. Mm -hmm. right. Absolutely, you, you know what I'm saying? Like even sleep with a shorty. Like yeah. Yeah. before you imagine, then you smile. You like oh, it was good. Yeah. I, mean, it was good. <laughs> but, but, but I imagine, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the and I think once we realize. That the imagination is always better than the reality. We can kind of live more. Yeah, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Instead of trying to, and then you I just wanted to start. Too, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> and and just, but just living in the moment. Yeah, it's yeah. just better. And go ahead, Tony. And then saying? you realize too, like money ain't everything. No. Like you know what I'm saying. It's you know a lot of people can't fathom that being the case, but you see it all the time with like super wealthy people still going through turmoil and bullshit and like mm -hmm. you know so so it just shows you that. Man, I, I was miserable, man. I, I hit rock bottom. You know? yeah, right. I made $25 million that year. <laughs> right. It was the worst period of my life. You just hear it all the time. So it's just like you know that money is not the answer to everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes your life a little bit more stress, uh, stressless. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you can cover your medical bills. You can, you know, mm -hmm. emergencies a lot of problems. happen. You yeah. got money there. But <laughs> there's so much more to life than just money. Right. We right. have Absolutely. to schedule you know. time with your kids. All yeah, right, we're going right. to do bedtime at 7 and... Uh, you right. don't have lunch on Thursdays. It's like, right. ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, th I think it's just all about your your perspective on what's important to you. Yeah. Like, what's I mean, like, these, this is this is what matters to me. Like, this, no you know, I, I'd be like, hey, man, if I gotta, I'd be passing on gigs for a stupid ass t-ball game, but that's I like, good. I like good. to yeah. watch them play. You yeah, know, and it, like, it means uh, a lot to them. Yeah, and sure I, I just feel like money. One thing the pandemic taught all of us is like money come and go mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like we all money wasn't coming in like it was when we was working mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i was still i was fine like i because i i had you know what i mean like i don't care about that stuff like it's just no i, I had cut this um he was a chef chef for a lot of rich people that live in beverly park mm -hmm. and i was like yo man are these people happy and he said bro they're the saddest people in the world Wow. He was like, they got these big ass houses, but they sad. Yeah. One dude who's major rich lived by himself. He said, I make his meals every night, every night, every morning, lunch, everything. But he's one of the most saddest people. He's in, in this big house and lonely. Damn. One, one of the wives committed suicide. 
Oh, shit. And it's like, bro, they got, they, you know, we right. all been to Beverly Park. Like, yeah. when you, the air smells. Right. 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 As soon as you go there. past those gates, you yeah. like, I feel, this is, I like it here. Right. No sidewalks. Yeah. Like, yeah. No sidewalks. But then, but when you look at what's going on inside the right. house, that's crazy. Yep. And it's like, bro, middle class may, as like you said, may be the best thing. Right. Yeah. Just being at that middle or or class. taking upper, upper middle class, uh, upper middle class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it takes some time. <laughs> right. Absolutely, we like I don't need to be the richest person on right. the block. And I thought also think about bringing your 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 values and your stuff with with you with you on the climb. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like like if you got the love and all that stuff with you, you can go make a ton of money, but don't neglect. You know the yeah. family, the right. friends, the other shit that don't have nothing to do with work. Like just mm-hmm. you know the life. Like mm-hmm. actual, like money ain't life. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like people be like, money, money, money. But fuck that. Yeah. Like I, I'd rather just go hang out with the homies sometimes, or just play I, with my kids. Sometimes. I never Whatever. agree with this. I put more money, more problems. I agree, more money, different problems. But money yeah. solves a lot of problems. <laughs> it does. It does. Being it broke also is a creates problem. some. Sure. Especially uh, knowing uh, a lot of times when you make money and you're in a family. They're thinking like everybody else thinks like, oh, we made it. You made every bit of money. We rich. And it's like, nah. I'm rich. If I split this 20 (laughs) ways, we We all all broke. broke. (laughs) Yeah. 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 No doubt. But it's it's just good. Money is a comfort thing. Like, you know, it it feels good to be able to be like, all right, I filled up my car and I'm good. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. as before, it's like, all right. I can put twenty dollars in here, <laughs> right? And then doing math all the time. Yeah, you like yeah. all right, but the rent's gonna come out. They're gonna right. take that out on the. Sincere, come, 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 do this math for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. And then this. Sincere's and like, hey, just, dad. Uh, calculations say that uh, I'm gonna go live with mom. Right. <laughs> right. So it's just so like, dad, are we it's good be to be out of that realm of just like you know check yeah. to check. Like I don't, mm-hmm. I definitely don't want to yeah. go back to you mm-hmm. know that stuff, but yeah, I just. Money but then is... it, it goes to you're in an NFL game, your child's being born. You're right. at the NFL game, you don't get to go see your child be born. Right. There's things like that. Very which few ha- players will which go. Which happens? Right. What's his name? And take a fine. Who's it? Just had a baby during the Super Bowl. No, he did. He dipped though. He, he, he dipped immediately. Yeah. After, like luckily, oh, oh, oh. yeah. Like luckily, it OBJ worked out. OBJ had yeah. a baby during the. Yeah, I think it was yeah. actually somebody. I think it was Odell. two of them. Odell, Odell, Odell. Yeah, two of them did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the receiver he was talking to his kids and he he dipped up He's in the jersey. Yeah, he was like, like we, we gotta, gotta go. go, guys. Your sister's being born. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. But you won a Super Bowl and then had a baby born. What a great day. That's dope. Oh, he was. Yeah, that's yeah, dope. He got to the hospital. Man. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. That's super dope. Got the trophy in one hand, baby. Right. Because that's the story he's gonna be telling. You know you won. The greatest day of my. That's literally the greatest day of his life. Yeah, for sure. Tired of that story. You said what? <laughs> the kid is going to get tired of the story. I'm going to get tired of the story again. Super Bowl, yeah. baby, yeah. <laughs> but then then they're going to flip it when they start dating somebody. They're going to be like, you know, <laughs> you know I was born on the day. Fun fact about get tired of yeah. it. But then she tells her story. As she takes the number back, well, you, you, know, yeah. <laughs> you know I was born on the Super Bowl. I might not be playing yep. in the game right now, but I was right. born on the Super Bowl, baby. I was born on the Super Bowl. You got some more questions up here, Amir? What you got? It's a bunch of questions. Uh, Two part question: If you had to lose one form of entertainment, TV, movies, or music, Tony would die. Which <laughs> one would you clip? And of the two left, uh, which one would you keep for a whole year? Wait, I'm picking one out of the three. Oh, you just TV, said you had to lose. movies, one has to go. TV, so, movies? All right, so I can keep two. Yeah, keep two, and then one of them. You oh, TV, TV's out of here yeah. for me. Right. TV's out of here. Right. Yeah, I can do without TV, even though some good, some, some great shows going. Uh, oh, for a year. Yeah, for a year, TV. Oh, Easy. that's not bad. For yeah. a, year? Yeah, yeah, a year? I think I had bad. to dip on movies. I'm dipping on movies also. No, no, it's, it's, so the first, it's two questions. Oh, oh. <clears throat> the first one is, which one is gone? Uh-huh. TV, so movies, or music? Left, which one would you do only for a year? Oh, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> so TV is gone, and then out of the two that's left, I can keep one for a whole. I'm going to keep music, I guess, for the year, just because I need the music for traveling and just... My walks. So, day to day. <laughs> so you yeah. got you got one forever, one for a year, and one's gone. No, I don't think anything about for. Oh, well, I guess technically, yeah, yeah. forever. Yeah. So yeah. Like between the three. Which one to stay in your every so day? Between the three, which one is gone? And then which one would you rather between the two that you pick? Which one would you rather keep for a year? And then the other one you just got. Yeah. So it's basically like you stuck with this one for right. a year, but just hypothetically. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do music for the Dang year, up. and then TV is gone. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I do enjoy movies, but I, I think I watch more TV. But I'm keeping music because, like you said, travel, gym. Like I just use music for so much stuff. Um. Hold on, man. I'm not cheap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Miss J. You know she say you cheap? She said, "Aren't you cheap too, Tony?" Nah, I nope. would never classify Tony as cheap. No, well, I'm not cheap. Not I just, I'm not, I'm not just spending just to spend. Like if you ask to hear and Kev, I'm cheap. But in in reality, but I'm to not. hear is a spender. Yeah, to hear is big, spender. Both of them are big spenders. Big they just spender, be spending yeah. money, and I'll just be like, it, it, it's got to make sense for me. But like uh, yeah, for never, the stuff that I like, I'll be I'll be spending. I'll be going to the movies. I'll be I've never Jordan put you in, a, in the cheap category. Keon, Keon, I'm cheap. Keon is cheap. Yeah, I'm cheap. Frugal. You know, what? I, I Frugal. would uh, cheap. off the question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Frugal. Frugal, very smart. Because mm -hmm. now that I make more, I'm not as bad. Mm -hmm. I, I did what I had to do to survive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smart women. Yeah, and like because they would be like, especially out here in LA, you know, they fake it to you, make fuck no, I don't have it. Right. I have no issue <laughs> saying I ain't got it, and you're not gonna make me pretend like I got it. I don't have it. Now that we, you know, are doing better, and we've me and the wife have worked out our financial stuff. Now I spend more more money, you know, because. After though the savings is put away and the bills are taken care of, mm -hmm. then I'm like, okay, we got something to play with. But yeah, I'm not gonna live above my means for somebody else. For what? I have been having to learn how to pay for peace of mind though. Mm -hmm. Like I, I was so used to living in like crisis mode that financial crisis mode was just like if I if I if I if I spend on this and I ain't got this. So now I'm getting into the mindset of all right, let me start paying for peace of mind. Like let me let me pay somebody to do this. Let me put a little extra on this yeah. just to have peace of mind. So now I'm getting into that realm where it's just like, all right, mm -hmm. I spend it on this just for right. peace of mind. That's because we all got broke PTSD. Exactly. For, for yeah. I've been scared. broke for so long. Yeah, you're scared like, you're going to go back. I, 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 you, you, no. You're right. You know? <laughs> right. But now it's just like, you know what? I can afford peace of mind mm -hmm. now. Let me, right. let me do that. It's terrifying. And you're, what's wild is, because me and Kylie were talking about the other day, we didn't grow up broke. We became broke as adults. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. like, we grew up fine. Mm -hmm. And then when I moved out early, yeah. I was broke from the time I moved out mm -hmm. to maybe three years ago. <laughs> like, yeah. mm -hmm. So it was like, I, I, I don't think I ever get out of, like he was saying, the crisis of like, well, this can... I, well, I gotta make sure. It's like no, you can relax a little bit, like. But I just, I be scared. Do y'all still eat broke people food? Like when you were broke, cream uh, do you still eat the same? What's Tom Ramen like, still good. Like, like, like it's oh. something I can't give up. Tom Ramen good. I like steakums. Y'all know. I've never had steakums. I've never had steakums. I love steakums. Steakums, but that's not broke. That was rich people stuff. It's steakums like, seem good though. Yeah, it's I thin sliced like, steak. That you make sandwiches. Steakums and Velveeta seem yeah. like, oh, you living the good life over there. Man, that's. <laughs> for me, I, I turn my back on broke people food just because it's so unhealthy. Yeah. yeah man. That's mm. the only reason. Mm. It wasn't about me. I'm better than this. It was just like, I got to be better than this to survive. Yeah. Not, you know what I'm saying? Because the yeah. stats. Like peanut butter and jelly, broke people food? No, I wouldn't consider that. That's you know what I'm saying? Everybody. Because everybody. I still eat those, but not put them in the air fryer. They're amazing, guys. I put everything Whoa. in the air fryer. I really like peanut butter I just made pancakes in the air fryer yesterday. French toast in the air fryer. It's all oh, you put pancakes in it? Yo, wait, I just, wait, wait, wait. Frozen pancakes? No, 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 no. I put the, Check this out. All right, so I had made bacon in the air fryer, okay? Mm -hmm. And so then I was like, which is it's cool, right? So then I was like, yo. I was already making pancakes on the stove. Yeah. So I'm going to put one of these batches in here and see what happens. And it just in the bacon grease, bro. So I let it cook in there, and it became this little cake puff. It was dope. Like, you know, otherwise Chad your pancake. discovers the fattest shit <laughs> I've ever heard of in my so life. So you cooked your pancake in the bacon grease. Because it was already so in there. So it had the crispy edge. Because I had the Crisco. I had the, I had the olive oil. <laughs> right. It was, it, But the pancake on the stove, olive oil, but it was still flat. Yeah. So it was the crispy edges. It was, right? Right. So then when I put it in the in the thing, I was like, what'd you say? Tits said those pancakes were good, too. No, it came out like a little a little puff thing. It was. I was like, "Yo, that's yeah." You could bake in the in the air fryer. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't know that either. You can you can. What's the, what's the thing with the rice? You can do what do they call it? Pressure. You can pressure cook. Mm -hmm. You can air fry. You can bro. Bake. The the French toast was magical in there. And then I put I t I, t I put the uh, peanut butter and jelly in there. I was like, me and Izzy was like you putting everything. Yeah. in there. Yo, <laughs> because I was just like, well, Are what you else? He gonna put no, it's he's putting everything. In I was there. like, what else can I was like, what can go wrong in here? Like everything's yeah. better. And it, 
You were genius. Tell this, me about this. You're like, let me put this yogurt in there. Try this. Let me put this yogurt in there. Right. I put yogurt. everything in there. <laughs> <laughs> yogurt, man. It's better than air fry. <laughs> Fried yogurt might be fire, bro. <laughs> it could be. It might be. <laughs> I'm not even mad at it. I used to be it. a yogurt fiend, dog. Uh, yeah, you were. I was never I a big yogurt I used to be Yo Play McGee. Uh, and yogurt is good because they're always on sale. Oh man! Like at the store when they oh, would used yeah. to do the tenth for uh, for ten, <laughs> yeah, ten, ten for ten. ten. Oh my god! I used to just be like, oh, yeah. Gosh. And you try flavors you don't know. Oh my god! Cheesecakey man. Do you do this. the vegan yogurts? Nah, I don't like them. Yeah, they good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You so, know what? The good ones that's though, so delicious. Have, they, they don't have the good stats, so I just be like, I can't have them. Too, too much, much sugar. sugar. Too much sugar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Or 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 they're too fatty, and so I just be like, ah, man, stop counting calories. Yeah. So I you the you fast. read all your food? Yeah, I look at the label. Okay. Yep. They say oh, that's yes. how you live if you read the label. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I learned this too. Everything in there. I heard that, and and you don't buy what's in the middle of the grocery store. For the stand you outside. Only shop on the outside. Oh, the yeah, middle is yeah, the field. Yeah, they say you only shot on well, the outside. Well, yeah, because that's all the, 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 the outside, all the processed. Yeah, 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 it's processed yeah. and inside. Things in boxes inside. and cans. That's true. It's processed yeah. on the edges because on the edges you got the lunch meats and the cheeses too. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That's, that's true. Well, you might walk past those and yeah, get the true. turkey. Why don't they ground, just stay just stay in the vegetable turkey. fruit aisle? Because the Basically, outside, yeah, 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 the outside definitely got right. that bullshit. Yep. So uh, that's crazy. Know. Did you answer the homeboy's question? I didn't answer homeboy's question. Oh, I, I, I'll just say uh, movies, I guess. Uh, I'm keeping TV throughout. Um, I'm getting rid of, uh, I'd get rid of music and movies. Um, wow. Because I listen to Audible. There's no ad, but it would have been a good time. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it it would have been a good time for one, though. But, you know, I do a Wait, lot so more. you're losing? I'm losing, uh, I'm losing movies forever. Okay. So, That's a tough one, though. So yeah. then, which one are you keeping for that year? I'm going to keep TV. Gotcha. And then okay. I, in a year again, I have music. Yeah. But lo- losing movies forever is really hard because I enjoy going to the movies. Right. But I, what, what you going to listen to in the car? Books. Books. That's in the books. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he got, reads. That's I got I mean. the answers to all that. See? Yeah. So you get rid of... Then there's a gorilla. You get rid <laughs> of... <laughs> I'm on the <laughs> eagle's back. <laughs> so you get rid of... Uh, you get rid of movies forever. You get rid of music forever. Because on TV, you got video music box. Okay. There you go. <laughs> movies you are go. eventually going to come to TV. Okay. So you got everything in right TV. That's a Chico. TV That's you fair. can listen to it while you're on the That's uh, TV's just on the Chico. I'm, I'm copying. Can I watch TV on my phone, right? Yeah, you know I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm I with just you. like that movie experience. The, the no, movie experience too. is hard yeah. to leave. Because it's, it's like, I don't watch stuff the same at home. Do you go to movies by yourself? Yes. Me, yeah. Uh, it's just because I'm focused in the movie theater. If I'm at, If I'm at home... I'm on my phone, mm-hmm. I'm talking, I'm pausing, yeah. I'm getting up, cats, I'm, oh, this, Distraction City mm-hmm. at home. Mm-hmm. But in the movies, it's like, boom, I'm yeah. all in. I'm able to connect better. But you oh. could also get away because they have a whole bunch of movies that are based around music. So you get all your music in anyway. Yeah. You go uh, get the uh, Childish Gambino and Rihanna movie. They have a movie. They did, a movie. Mm-hmm. They did a whole musical R- short really? film. All music. I think I remember. Easter Ray got a movie, uh, show it. coming out called Rap Shit. Probably gonna be a lot of rapping and shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the documentary? No, she's, I think it's a <laughs> it's series a called oh, okay. Rap Shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's really just called Rap Shit, I think, coming back for HBO. Rap Shit. All right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, 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 man. TV's the move, bro. TV gets you everything. Yeah, what you doing? I gotta have music, too. I get rid of movies. <clears throat> and um, I'll do music because I like to clean. With yeah. music, mm-hmm. like I oh, clean yeah. with eighties music, yeah. like that's my thing. Mm-hmm. And then, like you said, working, like, like I'll go to the gym, and if I left my ear pods, I'm not, I'm not going to the gym. Gym's canceled. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trash. Yeah, in yeah. the distance. Gym's yeah. canceled, yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I have to have tough it out. Tough it out. Music, music is the last one to go for me. Yeah, that's the last one to go. As much as I love movies, it'd be like music is just with me. It's too yeah yeah. It's, it's involved like in too many aspects with of the life. Car yeah. too, oh, you, the car too. You can just have to hear road. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to no hear music. what's wrong with my car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear yeah. none of that shit. Just well, in the electric the car, you don't even hear air. You just hear. <laughs> you just sit in right. silence. <laughs> you roll the window down just to get some noise going, some breeze. <laughs> 
Y'all ever notice, yeah. like, I feel like cars are different now because when you roll one window down, it makes this weird Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like that's never been yeah. what is like that, that until know. late. Yeah. Cardi be mad as hell. She's and like, you got to roll the other one yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. That's sound. If you, roll, if you roll the front down, you got to roll the back. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. 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 I feel like it thing. wasn't like that when we was coming yeah. up. Well, it depends on how fast you got to speak. It also, they say it could call cause uh bell's palsy is that it oh, from having one window down bell's that palsy sound. Little pool. yeah that thing that oh, the freezes ee. your face oh. up and oh stuff. oh, oh well, cere- c- not cerebral c- c- it's palsy? called bell's palsy yeah bell's palsy yeah it could hurt your hearing yeah uh-huh. it could throw your equilibrium oh what Pain. that's why they tell you always roll the other window down because you hear that <laughs> no I, I feel that yeah. but freeze your face yeah I didn't know that you would be like what the hell is that <laughs> yeah, so it's Bell muscle weakness been. on one side of the face Damn, so that means it was crazy. a dude named Bell uh, yeah, he probably, oh, you know there was a name after that shit Bell Palsy this ain't no cerebral Conway the Machine has that cause from I thought when he, got he got shot, shot. he yeah. did but he gave him the, the Bell's Palsy I thought he got shot yeah. Palsy <laughs> yeah from, from the shot <laughs> who did yeah, Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin Bieber. He was talking about that. He called it something else, though. It, yeah, he oh, got yeah, something shingles. else. Yeah. Wait, what he did? Uh, oh, for real? I had shingles yeah, before. I called shingles. I did too. Yeah, yeah. Right. His hearing is messed up and the, his They said that was from singing. He said that was from, that video. That was from no <laughs> cut from the loud oh. noise on oh. stage. That's what he said it was from. Mm. Mm. Well, I know. Cuz that it, it, it has to develop from shingles. I mean, no. what's your mic? He said he said that in the video. <laughs> Justin Bieber said cuz of this virus, which is probably related to shingles cuz that's virus related. And it, that it and so you saw the paralysis when he was talking. Oh. And I got shingles like shortly after Serene passed. I got shingles and and then when I was talking to the doctor and because uh, when she prescribed the medicine for me, I was just like, it was like Valtrex or something. I was like, that, yo, that's this herpes that, medication. Right. Oh, oh, I, and I she was, was like, okay. you know, because chicken pox is a herpy. And I was just huh. like, oh. We all had no yeah. herpes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we all had herpes. Yeah, <laughs> as a baby, that, I'm <laughs> real with she said that, I was like, yo, I got herpes? And she was like, no. It's, it, I was like, oh, But herpes okay. is one of those things that's like always in us or something, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then you have like, I so, never stop judging people, that, guys. Go wrong. That's what I say. That's what he said. Yeah. That's what just so Ramsey. Ramsey Hunt somewhere. Is. Yeah, he famous. I do not want some shit in that to me, bro. Not so that. uncomfortable. You ain't got the chest. The chest rocks. I caught that chest. Yeah, you get like you get like bumps on your skin. So I was getting them like on my back and my sides, and I was like, "What flares that up?" She's like, "Stress. Have you been stressed lately?" Like, yeah. Like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I got shingles like right after all that. I got shingles when I was at Jordan camp. That was the oh, worst real? thing. Yeah, that was shingles hurt, man. I got it the last day at Jordan Camp, and I went straight to the Mo Money set. So Marlon was introducing me as Rash Man, yeah. Rashida, <laughs> man, Rashida, <laughs> Rashida, Rash Man, everything. It's uncomfortable, man. <laughs> it's all on my body. So it hurts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to do oatmeal. My mom had it. She had it real oatmeal bad. soap. Yeah, it was like. How long does it take to go away? Uh, once, once, once she prescribed me the medication, I started to see the effects pretty quickly, okay. and then it just. They just went away. You got uh, marks and shit from there? Mm-hmm. Probably, I, I probably got like a little bit left. Mm-hmm. I haven't really investigated lately, but... Uh, <laughs> investigated. Yeah. <laughs> you know how you be looking at what I got left. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I was just like, man, what the hell is going on? And so so they could come back eventually, but no one, once I know what stuff is and know how to combat it, I'll just be like, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You literally can only get singles if you ever had to. Uh, are you, are you going to send your kid to a chicken pox party? A what? If they haven't had chicken pox, usually if one person gets it, other parents send their kids over there so everybody gets it at once. A that's chicken pox party. The hell? Because that, of the that, chicken pox parties? Yeah, yeah. Why would I do that? Because Cause you wanted it as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. What happens if you get chicken pox as an adult? It it could they, they say it's sterile. worse. Could, yeah. 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 yeah, so that's why you're supposed to have it as a kid. Yeah. yeah. Wait a yeah. second. But the kids don't get chicken pox anymore, right? Because they have the I don't think so. No. Yeah, because yeah. because of the, the shots. Yeah. 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 That don't make no sense. You you perfect. wait wait. You can get it worse as an adult when your immune system is stronger than when you are as a child. No, because you're you're, you're being exposed to a virus that you your body never got the chance to really build immunity with. 
So it's coming in hot. It's like, you know, it's like Christopher Columbus and them coming to the new world. No, I, I yeah. understand that, but... <laughs> and your Indian no, body parts on the end. Your body <laughs> might have a better immune system, per se, but that virus has gotten stronger if it wasn't to a point where it's like everybody across the board has got built up immunity to it. That's why COVID continues to get stronger, because there's not enough people with the vaccine or precautions to take it that it continues to get stronger until it gets to a point where... That like, sounds like witchcraft to me, man. man. I don't believe that. You said COVID was getting. I thought it was getting weaker. No, because everybody was catching it now. It's like, well, that when some it, people on their second time around, they're like, this is nothing. Isn't it yeah, when it's a new it strain? Continues to weaken every time you get it. That's the problem. Oh. People aren't. They're not telling you. Exactly. Mm. Diseases do get stronger if you don't combat it. So and they can come back. So it's like, oh, we got rid of the black plague, and it's like, okay, if people don't get their shots and stuff. That black plague will come back. Oh, ain't nothing that much. Oh, shit. Black plague was devastating. It did wipe out a, a gang of uh, yeah, Europeans. Europeans. <laughs> they didn't get their ass handed to them by that. That's why we're starting to see a, a rise in, like, you know, these specific diseases because through the internet in the past 20 years or whatever, everybody's like, these shots are causing autism and all this stuff. Bullshit. But they are there to help. And then people don't get them and then they come back later. Mm. Take your echinacea. Take a what? Your echinacea. <laughs> the what? Echin the what's echinacea. Echinacea. Yeah, yeah. echinacea. Echinacea golden seal. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I, Look, I they made me feel dumb. No, I, I, no, I didn't hear what you said. I got what you said. I didn't know what it is. I didn't hear what you said. And then I heard you. Now I don't know what it is. No, I was like, yeah. He was just like, what? I don't know what it is. I don't know what you're trying to say. What is it? It's for your immune system. Echinacea. Yes. I never heard of it. It's good to take before you get sick. Yeah. I learned so much today. Sea moss. I learned, yeah, sea moss. I just bought some sea moss at Collodion Zoo. Team. Would you buy it at the oh down there? At the yeah man. You should have went, Chaz. You got it flavored or raw? <laughs> he brought it up. Chaz good. was like, "What we doing?" I'm like, "Hey man, I'm still down." Hey, hey, things guys, things happen, listen. man. Are you talking about Sunday? Yeah. Chaz, Chaz was the ringleader. He was making a pancake. Chaz was like, yeah. Yeah. Chaz was like, <laughs> Chaz was like <laughs> throwing stuff in the air. Right. What are we doing today, <laughs> guys? And then Tony was like, "Where you at, Chaz? I'm not coming." Right. <laughs> Things happen, man. Like, they didn't have air fries course, and man. Sometimes you go through life and things happen. That's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you never had to do an audible, Tony? It's never happened? Huh? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, then. <laughs> time nah. that well, yeah, I bought some sea moss. Uh, I went to this place. I bought two different kinds. I was just in there just buying stuff. Did you get the yeah. elderberry? and? Uh, I got the one. One has the elderberry. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one, yeah. You got so chicken pox twice. Yeah, you can get it more than once. I didn't know right. that. Mm. Well, what's yeah. the point of getting it the first time? Diseases be like, yo, I that's know the, I ain't supposed the, to be here. That's crazy. You don't want to get it. That's the point. Damn. People are like, I'll just get it. I'll be fine later. Nah, you can hit the ass again. And then as an adult, the scars are worse. When you're a kid, you oh, yeah, yeah. I, had yeah. a few I had chicken pox when I was super young, so I didn't even remember yeah. the process. Yeah, I but I remember either. having the mumps, though. The mumps. Yeah, you that had that everything. Tore my ass up, man. The, it's, yeah. It gets you in the glands. I was swollen here. I was hallucinating. Man. Oh, damn. Then like an 1800s uh, uh, swallow. Mumps. Mumps. <laughs> you got to be in the mumps. 1830s to get the mumps. <laughs> I think it's the mumps. Because, you know, the mumps, the mumps, the mumps, vaccines that we got, that wasn't... That polio. You know what I'm saying? Tony yeah. had polio. And polio. <laughs> polio. <laughs> what's, the shot, what's the shot they used to give us in the arm? You could tell how old people are when they all had that. The three, the vaccination. That was the original vaccination. But what was it for, dots. though? Uh... Because I, I can too. always, you only see it on older people. That, yeah. They oh, have the, talking about the they way school? back when yeah. they took everybody well, at school. Like, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. weird, yeah. the weird yeah. clinic. Yeah. All old people have that. I forgot what <laughs> you shot didn't even need to get your parents' signature. That was a horrible day. scar, though. It was big. You see it on a lot of old people. Like right I, on if I'm in Costco and the old, yeah, usually you have to be around. They all have. They all, and I don't know what it was. I thought it's either measles, something. You said something. It's three dots. No, no, it's just one big ass. It's one big, big ass. It's a circle, but if you look in it, it's three dots. It's a uh, they probably know. I think you have to be over like fifty one. Yeah, I, was about to say, I don't think you've seen anybody under fifty. But they all have it. Arm next time it's gonna be a big <laughs> circle. <laughs> big ass guy. Was you in a fraternity? <laughs> 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 but I forgot what, what what vaccine it was for, what shot it was. And I never noticed it until summer, and then in grocery stores on old people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As soon as the cuts leave your arm, mm -hmm. it's just flat with a big circle. Yeah, man. Mm, too many I don't dirty know what it is, fucking people around here, bro. Language. <laughs> it's an hour 47 in. No, right? Right? no, I'm just saying. saying mad stuff already. <laughs> yeah, I even said stuff right now because you said language. She acts. <laughs> she acts. <laughs> Gary, where can the people reach you, man? What you got coming up? What um, you got going? They can reach me on Instagram, uh, the Garrick Dixon, G A R R I C K D I X O N. 
I said that good. Uh, you yeah. never heard I read it out loud. It's cool. <laughs> or you can check out my men's hair grooming products, yeah, Dixon 1737. Like yeah. mm-hmm. D I X O N S 1737. Why 1737? What's the. I grew up on 1737 Albert Drive. Oh. That's where I started. 1738 was I next door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just got <laughs> your uh, beard yeah, oil. You got when the beard I was, oil. When I and up. that's what I will say. Tony's not cheap because I did his beard for free. Well, I actually hooked him up. And I. Because I saw him on a live, and I said, Tony, yeah. I got to cut your beard. Yeah. And then I gave him one of my beard oils. I was like, that's that's on you, Tony. He was like, what's your cash app? <laughs> and I thought he was going to send me like $10, $15. Mm-hmm. How much did he send you? He sent me $50. Yeah. Oh, okay. and, I, and I was like, yeah, Tony's not cheap. Did yeah. you raise yeah. the price of the uh, product right there? And now it's $50. <laughs> 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 Tony's tone, you know what I'm saying? It was $50. So it's Tony's now. definitely not cheap. Love it. But that's yeah, so I got a leave-in conditioner, beard butter, beard oil. Um Curl, shine, moisturize your hair, make you feel good, look good, all of the above, and also help you get fine ladies. Mm-hmm. So you got a lady. nice shop in Burbank too, mm-hmm. up in there. Yeah, yeah. Up in there oh, little. you open the shop yeah. in Burbank, yeah. Yeah. It, well, I, got, I got a, I got a suite nice. inside yeah. Salon that Republic. Suite was dope, suite. Man, yeah. I never okay. knew that was in there. Yeah, in Burbank Mall. So yeah. you need to come see me for a haircut. Come to Burbank Mall, Dixon's Grooming Lounge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Dixon's wow. Grooming Lounge. It was a vibe. Yeah. I was chill. Is it still the yeah. same? Is it just you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, because okay. a lot of us are doing suites now, you know, after the pandemic. Oh, so it's you. like I don't have to argue. With any, I, mean, I want to watch the TV. I don't want to listen to music. You don't have to argue with any of the other barbers. Mm-hmm. It's more safe. Mm-hmm. You have to have more intimate conversations. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of a lot of barbers are doing suites now hmm. opposed to being in a barbershop. It was a nice setup, man. Yeah. I used to like barbershops growing up, though. Yeah, when you were a kid, and you felt like yeah. you felt like you was in on adult male yeah. conversation, especially when they cuss. Yeah, you know, like, oh, and they get you, real passionate about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 I think I knew you ain't talking. You would be like, oh, I love the conversations in there. It just took forever, man. So long. Mm. <laughs> God, damn, that was a whole. I'm like, my yeah. whole like, morning. Can you is talk gone. and cut, please? My dad wanted to go Saturday morning. I'm like, dog, this is the prime time cartoon, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't get. You got to set the. You got to record the VCR. I had to set it back. Don't yeah. you feel older shit saying VCR? Wow. Yeah, if you use a VCR, VCR I thought it was VHS. Man. VHS, yeah. VHS is actual tape, right? VHS uh-huh. is the actual tape. The VCR is the, the place. The device. Yeah. All right, sorry. Go ahead, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at Craig Wayne's on everything. Uh, Mr. Toxic Shop's still up. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Chaz? Uh, Chaz. I'm Chaz Rogers on platforms. YouTube, we have the uh, Lacanonian Chaz. Uh, podcast is up with me and Dion Lack. Uh, that's all I got. I'm chilling. Chilling. Um, Keonpoli.com on everything to get all your merch and show dates and all that stuff. And I think I am at the Laugh Factory Sunday. Okay. Other than that, road wise, I think I'll just be on chips. And that's it. You can't get tickets. To- oh, no, I'm at Brad Garrett, but that's next month. It's fine. Whatever. Are you Get your tickets now at Brad yeah. Garrett. No, no, no. I'm hosting. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I only plug when I'm, if, it, if it's my boy show or if I'm hey. headlining. You just do what you want to do with that. I don't. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Plus, Make. that's the place that's going to get their own traffic anyway. No. <laughs> you got merch? New merch or anything? The yeah, show? Same 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 Chaos All Stars? When's that coming? Uh, we filmed 10 episodes. We got to do five more. I'm waiting for the Hella Fishman caps to come out. Mm. Ah, Fishman caps. Oh, <laughs> he's like what? <laughs> Wait for the you <laughs> Wait for the hella sports jacket, <laughs> Letterman's jacket, the hella Letterman's jacket. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Check out, check out Keon's brutally honest. Wait for those fishermen caps. <laughs> you got, you got new episodes of brutally, brutally honest coming. Keon. Why are y'all talking like Stewie or Family Guy? You know, the new novel. <laughs> yeah, that's that, every every Saturday. Those drop. They were asking. Yeah, yeah. What oh, are the new novel we're working on? Every every Saturday, those you know, drop on the YouTube. But the, novel. But the antagonist protagonist. <laughs> really, uh, connect with the root. You know what's trying to use I used to watch that so many times. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, <laughs> stand up at like, coffee shops, right? Twist and tuts. His voice kept getting higher <laughs> and higher. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. A <laughs> 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 little romance interest. Oh, Stewie. Great. Shout out to Stewie. Yeah, Griffin. Shout out to Stewie. Um, uh, the hell am I? I'm nowhere this weekend. Oh, actually, 
<laughs> Come to where this weekend. Tony shut down. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Tony Bacon and Friends stand. is back at Flappers uh, Monday, yeah. June 27th. So, All right. Uh, if you are in the LA area, get your tickets. It's about half half sold out Who's already. So get your tickets early. Burbank. Flappers Comedy Club, Tony Baker and Friends returns. Who are the friends? I'll be the host. Man, uh, you know it's going to be a good show. On I'm this show, host. I have Chris Sneed. Okay. Sneed. Uh, you said last week. Sneed is Nate Hurd. Nate. Nate. Kanisha Bus okay. and BT Kingsley right. on the show. Uh, so it's going to be a good song. Uh, so right. pull up, funny man. People, funny Hosted people. by your boy. Um, also, check out Verbal Cardio. New episodes drop every Wednesday. And they're... Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something else to mention. But Got some merch, something? No. So, cakery shorts are coming soon. What? Uh, Get your the, cakery the shorts. The cakery shorts coming soon. Be on the lookout for those. I want to launch those 4th of July weekend. So get your money together and uh, save up for those cakery shorts. What, what if you want to see what they look like, go to Sabrina Sips' page. She, uh, Does it say cakery the across the butt? It so when I wear them, it says the cakery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. order some, Craig? Yeah, man, get some, Craig. For the fellas, cakery. too, if you want to wear them, man. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me. Get your um, hoochie daddy summer. Hell around. yeah. I'll be doing watch parties this week heavy, so uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Get your thighs away from me, man. And, uh, yeah. Shining, yeah. too. Come on. Listen, we're going to do, we do an episode of Daddy Issues that's really dedicated to the questions from y'all. So uh, be on the lookout for that as well. Uh, shout out to Garrett Dixon for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, bro. Hey, Thanks for having me. Yeah, great oh, story. Man, with the sultry yeah. voice. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bench basketball. Man. Man. <laughs> Pass the me bench, the ball. The bench no. comedy special right there. <laughs> the bench warm. The bench warm. That's great. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, we out.